Oh, come on, man. Ivan Tony! Is your side? Yes! Well, uh, here we are looking, man. A few moments later. Oh, my God! <laughs> my God! They hit the fire again! Fam, oh, end this game, man. Fam, end this game. What is going on? Seriously, I can't do this, man. I need a break, man. Man, nothing vanished like a fart in the wind. Nothing left but... Rocks on a windowsill. Maybe she knows. What say there, fussy britches? Feel like talking? Yes, not. Big damn conspiracy! And everyone's in on it! What the hell are you taking the piss? He's in! <laughs> we have won it! <laughs> Let's go! Anthony into him there! He plays the end. Yeah, I'm just watching the football, mate. I've got a new neighbor, people. My bad. Yo, brother, please, sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to say sorry to him, man, because we've just done a robbery here. He weren't happy, man. He weren't happy. What is this football, though, man? What does he expect me to do? What does he expect me to do, though, man? We've robbed this. Oh, no. They're in, they're in. We got nicked. I'm sending the boys in blue in. Just got murked. Never die, Sarge. Exactly. Exactly, bro. It's not look. It's, it's just it's mentality. Never dice. Never uh, never dice the attitude, man. Bottle, isn't mm. it? Nah, 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 nah. That was a masterpiece. <laughs> that was a fucking Peace, man. masterpiece. Yo. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Where's Matisse? Seriously. Wow. Where's Matisse's one? <laughs> You nah, got, you serious, got man. Matisse's you one. Got, got oh, Turkish, bro. man. Nah, 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 nah. I'm done. I'm done. Nah, nah, nah. Seriously. You I'm got it. Got no. nah, seriously. Turkish. Where's Matisse's one? Because every single time this happens, bro. Every single time. I'm the one getting mocked every time on this show. Now nah, be serious, Turkish, man. Matisse, oh, what? Does Matisse do oh, what had you do on long? You had all day to sort it out. You got blabbed. We had all day to sort it out, man. I'm the one that's getting mocked every time on the show. Why? Pipe down, man. Maybe you will be knocking on the fucking door I'm again. Down, man. No, I'm being joking, man. No, I'm taking a piss, man. This, this shows... I can't blabbed. be asked. Oh. <laughs> what the oh, fuck? Oh, he's gone. <laughs> oh. I can't oh, tell I'm not going to lie, man. I've got a bit of sympathy for him, man. Like, I can't tell whether it no, nah, he was serious, man. I know when he's serious, man. Fuck's sake. Nah, man. Oh. So I'll message him in it. Like, he's actually taking a piss. Why is he just... Why is he just... No, nah, but I'm, I'm, I'm on his side. Like, you can't just leave Matisse out of it. And... So you got to pay Skull. You got to pay nah, Skull. Nah, bro. Come on, man. We, we Let me message him. One second, man. Let me message him, man. Let me message him. One billion Hold on, man. Pounds, yeah. is he in the has, he got, has he gone from the studio as well? He's not in the back end. He's one billion sake. pounds. That's how you spend your money, yeah? That's how you spend your money. Big up Skull. Skull is a bit of a wanker, but... Big up Skull. Still, Come man. on. Money spent yeah. well. <laughs> no, man. Nah, Come someone on. actually messaged him for real, man. That's I am, I am, I am. Wait one second, man. He's gone through a lot, bro. Yeah. He's been getting bare abuse, man. Oh, oh man. Shit. We moved the shit. We moved the shit to 10 because of him. And now he just oh. does. Nah, he'll come back, man. Where is he? Oh, I'm actually baffed, bro. You, nah, you, I don't even know. You just start smiling over there because you're going to get yours today. Yeah? You know, I was half expecting to see myself at some point. That was beautiful. You know what his oh, new name is now, isn't it? The Somalian bring... Will Smith, man. The Somalian Will Smith is cracking up, man. He's fucking cracking yo, up. Yo, bring Skull Fugger in here. Bro, bro he's serious. He goes, no, nah, fuck this, Chris. Every single damn time I've had enough. Bring bring, um, bring um, Skull in here. Oh. He can explain himself. Where's Skull, man? I'm, I'm actually rattled myself. Like, what the fuck is <laughs> What's going on, that? Nah, bro. Nah, he's coming back, man. It will come back. He's just pissing around. He must be. Where is he? <laughs> bro, he's not. No, I'm saying, bro, come on, man. Come on. It's, we we all get it. He goes, no, 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 no. It's I. I always get it. Ah, he's good. Is he? Oh. He hasn't messaged yeah. me. Good, bro. He's ignoring me now. He ain't getting an Oscar you. for this, man. He's not getting an Oscar for this. This is mad. Bro, man. man. No, but I'm not gonna lie. I expected a double barrel shotgun with with Matisse involved in the in the thing. So I I, I know where he's coming from. 
Right. Nah, I, I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know. Shall nah, we just start? We're gonna have to. All right. We're gonna have to continue with the show. Hmm. Hmm. What's he saying? Nah, man. We can't. He, I said. I said. Come on, bro. He said, Nah, bro. It's all literally always me. Literally, like. <laughs> <laughs> Come on guys man You really fell for the bait You really fell for it Listen April Fools Shush <laughs> Come on man Hey, no, what have you got to this man? Come on, man. What kind of clip is that? What kind of clip is that? We're here, man. We here, man. We here, we here. Come on, man. Skull is quality, man. We've got a point. He's actually quality. Yeah, thanks for nobody letting me know about that little joke. I was thinking, what the fuck am I coming to? Is this what I'm coming to? <laughs> People, fuck I this man, up, it's Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's all mad. It's all mad. All right, people. Listen, it's Saeed, no bless. He's back. Um, little April oh, Fool's Day. I see a few people in the... Co- well, I see more than a few people. Cotton on to it, but it is what it is. We move, people. We move, hopefully, keeping you entertained. And hopefully, the football on the weekend kept you entertained, especially the big one, the top of the table clash. Um, very entertaining, indeed. Um City no Arsenal nil, Liverpool two, Brighton one. We've got a couple draws in there, and we've got a comeback win for Tottenham. Big up, big Steve first and foremost back in the building. What are you saying, Steve? Yeah, man, all good, all good. Yeah, go. Uh, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna get into it. Make sure you show some love to the individual channels, people. All of them in the description below. Big up Skull Fuggery as well. Class intro. Let's not forget the. Let's not forget the levels of that intro. Um, right. Classic movie legend. Whole legend. movie shit, brother. He's a, look. We know. Saeed's a movie in himself, right? We know he's an actual movie, right? But but that clips, this is pure genius, man. Big up Skull every time. Bro. Pure genius. Every single time. Uh, Shawshank, Shawshank Redemption and Ted. Shawshank in the same, Redemption. In the same right? Are you mad? Like, what's going on? That's two different worlds colliding. <laughs> like, big up Skull. Big up Skull. Um, Ah, we've got a lot to talk about because we've got a review to do of Game Week 30. We've got a preview Game Week 31. So first and foremost, people, 4.5k here. Hit the like no button. No way. You tell yeah. me that. Okay, I forgot all about that. I need to do homework, man. I'm back in the race, aren't I? Well, what? you've got a chance to. You've got a what chance saying? to. What are you saying? Look at your faces. What are you saying? What are you saying? <laughs> I don't know how many people are with you. Who are you catching? Though? Who are you catching? Who are you it's catching? only you and he yeah. ain't here, so <laughs> you're, you're, you're all right. <laughs> any, point, no, no, any points no, no, deduction? No, no, any points deduction? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me just let me just give a reminder to the people before we get going like i said last show people you probably watched it you're always watching it big big thing for us we've hooked up with opta collaboration sponsorship partnership opta you know what they're about already but they are providing some games now and free to play you know it's not betting it's free to play week in week out and you can win big big cash prizes amongst other things as well but obviously the cash prizes tend to draw people in sign up using the link in the live chat in the description easy to sign up and you just play week in week out and um, we started prior to game week 30 so we've got an update brief update because it's the first weekend that we've done it but remember people this has an impact on the end of the season prediction table so as it stands i got three out of five players correct over the weekend tobe saeed and grizz all got one out of five correct hugh and matisse got no players so they got minus one point so every week if a panel member gets no players right that's minus one on their tally. And a, I'm remind- on. and a reminder, if you finish top, if I finish top, that's an extra five points to the prediction table. God damn, God damn. <laughs> If you finish last, it's minus five points from the prediction table. And then, obviously, we have the forfeit, which will be sponsored by Opta as well, people. So make sure you follow week in, week out. I'm also going to add a little something to it as well, people. I'm going to add a little something to it to... To help the engagement, because I see a lot of people in the Discord playing it. I see a lot of people DMing me playing it. So let's add a little competition. After this show, I'm going to pin a comment. I'm going to pin a comment, and I want you guys and girls to get involved. Sign up to Opta5, play week in, week out, follow us along the way, and the person that finishes on the highest score total come the end of the season, there's a £200 cash prize for you. For you, £200 cash prize for the person... The, 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 the supporter of the show that finishes on the most points. But you have to follow us week in, week out. Make sure you screenshot every week 
that you do. So come into the season when you tell me or tell us that you've got a certain number of points, you back that up with your screenshots. We verify it. And then congratulations to the winner. So there's 200 pounds up for grabs there. Pinned comment, people. Remember that. Download the game. Now live chat is there. Easy to play as well. I'm about to do my team now. So let me just bring it up on the screen Sorry. quickly. Sorry, people, but let me just bring it up. These are the results from last week. These are the three players I got right. Cole Palmer, Solanke, and Luis Diaz all exceeded their points target. As you can see, they're all in green. Sun, 94.5, but didn't hit the 97 target. And Lily Watkins, I went with the safe option rather than going with DRB. You smashed his points target. But I'm top people. I'm top three out of five correct. And as you can see, it says results there. If you go to up to five there and press play now, the next game week is selected. Newcastle, Everton are up first. <clears throat> I don't want to give you tips as well. This is what's difficult about it. Nah, man. We don't copy you, man. We don't. Uh, Gordon goes in there. Yeah, 80. I'm That's a nice That's a nice first. point target. <laughs> Let me see what's going yeah, on yeah. here. Nothing yeah, I think Gordon's a good pick. Gordon's a good pick. Of course you yeah, do, man. Let me not see you pick that. Let me not see you pick that. I was actually mm. going to go with Diaby. I'm actually fuming. I didn't think yeah. he'd start. I didn't mm. think he'd play. Oh, no, I went for the wrong one. Yeah. I went for Bailey. I yeah, was yeah, Diaby yeah. or Bailey, and I went for Bailey, you know. Oh, Idiot me. Fuming. Forrest Fulham. This is, a, this is a funny one, you know. Fulham away, Muniz. Let's put him in there. because he's... Muniz, bro. See that goal, by the way? That goal. Oh, yeah. what, a goal. what a goal. Yeah. What goal. He's on form, bro. He's, he's keeping Ham. Bruno on the bench. West Ham Tottenham. Let me just select West Ham players here. Where's Kudus? 81. Yep, let's put him in there. <laughs> Why not? Like? Dude, I, I don't understand the chance. Oh, no, relax, relax. Relax. <laughs> um, Brentford Brighton. Let me quickly see. Brentford Brighton. Where's Tony, man? Let's see what, what his target is. 87. He, he needs sign this guy, man. Let's put him in there. Liverpool, Sheffield United. It's probably going to be an easy pick. One of the attackers. Salah 98, Jota. Where, where is Jota? Injured in it, Broski. Come on, man. 89, Diaz again. Let's put him in there again. Why not? Confirm my five picks and we are good to go. We are good to go, people. There we go. That's my five selections done. It's an easy to play game. It's free. You just select five players. If they exceed their points target, you can win up to £2,500 every week. I was close. I was just two players off and one of my players was a 2.5 points away. Obviously, opt to do their thing. Slightly different to the way Fantasy Premier League is set up. But go through them. Go through the link. They show us some love. They're going to help. Well, you know, the sponsors and the collaborations help us do the pre-recorded stuff, help us do the content in the summer. So people, even if you're not going to play it, go sign up and Look give it Toby's a go. Why face, not? Man. Look at Toby's face, man. He's had, they've had you over there, Turkish. Haven't the garden suspended, man? Ah, oh, Steve, man. Oh, what are you? Are you, man, are you the new NYPD? What are you doing there? Why are you kissing Steve, me? what are you Bro. doing now? What kind of snitch? You can't be doing that, man. You can't be doing that. What kind of Help snitch? Are you? Help each other get points over the weekend. Oh, Steve's the new NYPD of the oh, show. Nah, 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 nah. Steve's <laughs> wearing a wire, man. I'm wearing a wire, man. I'm wearing a wire. Yeah, you're wearing a wire, man. <laughs> Yo, yeah, so Steve, we just nah, brought 5,000 people from talking. Oh, my God. Nah, I'm nah, so nah, disappointed. Nah. Is that what you've not done? Uh, this is a good opportunity to show you. If this is what happens, people, let me bring it back. You can nah, this is ridiculous. edit team selection. Oh, and no. then you just look than you have. Nice, Steve. Love for the love. Love for the love. Double bubble. Man. Double bubble, my brother. L's in the chat. L's, L's in the chat for Steve. Yeah, Hell man. Steve. Oh, Steve. Rattle Steve, man. Steve, Steve, Steve needs to get be told, man. <laughs> <laughs> Steve needs to get told that. Nah, we I'm stopped gonna... me and Toby stopped five thousand people from snitching. We literally stopped them at the end. By the end, there was only a handful of neeks that were still saying <laughs> it. All right. <laughs> and then Steve comes with a body slam and big officer Steve, bro. Show your badge. Nah, <laughs> should, I tell you, should I tell you what that does? You know what, Steve? We made a bet on the weekend, Man City Arsenal. Obviously, it was a uh, you know, we won't oh. lose bet. 50 oh, pounds. You don't okay. owe me 50 oh, pounds, bro. You oh, don't owe me 50 pounds. Oh, yeah, okay. oh, put in the map. Yeah. Put in the map. Yeah. There we go. There we yeah. go. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. assist from Steve. Um, Yeah, <laughs> so let's get into it, people. Big up Opta. Make sure you show them some love. Easy game to play, free to play. You can win week in, week out. And obviously, you can also compete with us. Points total, end of the season. If you, you know, exceed our points total, send in your screenshots. The winner will get £200 cash from the big six. Let's get into I'm, it. I'm admin, yeah. <laughs> I've tried to type Neeks in the chat with the Big Six account. YouTube blocked me. <laughs> I swear. Why? What? They think it's they think it's spam. 
I said, bro, I'm the admin, bro. What the fuck? Wow. <laughs> 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 I just tried to be so. <laughs> I'll just say nerds instead. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said it's 116 now. I right, big up the chat, man. Yeah, Hit the yeah, like yeah. Button. Can everyone type in 116? <laughs> yeah. That that one I can prove in court. <laughs> um, ah, right, listen, where do we start though? Because the intro dictated, you know, United, the Man City, Arsenal game. Come on, man. Obviously, the big one. I don't really, you know, mind too tough. You know where we start is. We could start in a few places. I'm not gonna lie. We can maybe get into it and leave the main event for the main core of the show. I don't know. I don't know what everyone thinks. The main event wasn't even the main event, so we could start with United because I think that was hilarious. What happened at Brentford? Hilarious. I think Charles to Burnley, ten by Burnley. Yeah, Yeah, more entertaining than that. I I mean, that was one. Let's let's see United. United can't be getting all the smoke in. We've got a. Dirty, dirty team in West London that are that are struggling yeah. to beat a ten man derby at home. Like they need to get flambéed, man. And cheated the penalty. And cheated the penalty, really penalty as well. Do you want me to, you want well. me to be they honest? Do you want me to be honest? Do you want me to be honest? If you guys don't start with us, you've lost the plot because we just drew mm. to Burnley, bro. Don't give a fuck about Chelsea, though. Don't you get it? It's the truth, though. Let's be real. Let's be real. If Arsenal or if United or if Liverpool were in 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, it would be, no question, the biggest topic of the show. No it's problem. Chelsea, no one actually gives a shit. But go yeah. ahead, let's do Chelsea. It's fine. You, get, you gave a shit when Drogba was slamming it down on your team every single Wembley <laughs> final. Take but it now, easy, now you bro. don't care. Okay, no, <laughs> take no, it very no easy. problem. No one was it's slamming a lot of talk, it down bro. anyway. It's a lot of talk with someone with no stars. <laughs> All right, no problem. You don't care. Stop right, talking about on. these stars. Is this back your chat? You always like, oh, we went on We went on beaten. That's you keep on saying stars like you won the World Cup, bro. You ain't won the World Cup. How many times have you mentioned you're invincible? How many times? What are you? I'm fucking Superman or something. Channel, man. Bro, who are you? You don't Come have on. history, bro. Shut up. No one's talking on, to you, man. man. Yeah. When did Chelsea? <laughs> when did the great Chelsea? This is this is London. This is London is blue. Keep the blue flag flying high. When did Chelsea FC turn into the History Channel? That you're Trust telling me. us about these stars, brother. You have just gone life and death with the I worst know. team. That's what I just said, and you didn't win. That's what I so just. So please said. focus. Stop telling us That's about them I stars. Said. I'm trying to. Yeah, but stop telling us about the stars, you. brother. He keeps on saying stars like that saves him. (laughs) Bro, we could bring a Nottingham Forest fan here and he could say the same shit you say. Look at the stars, bro. Get up to date, bro. What the fuck? Get rid of Tobes because, you know what I'm saying? Get Nottingham Forest in here because they ain't bringing nothing to the table. You're You're flipping 10th or 11th. I don't even, I can't even keep up. I don't even, (laughs) that's how mad it is. I don't even know where you are on the table because my view when I'm on the app, I can't even see you. So I don't even bother scrolling down. I don't even bother scrolling down, bro. That's how bad you it is. You should. You should, that's, because we're safe. We're now, we're, we're now safe, 40 points. That's how bad so... it is, Matisse. Do you not <laughs> think that that is actually embarrassing, Matisse? Of course I'm embarrassed. Do I look, do I look like I'm not? Let me, let me just <laughs> More than you could believe. League. More than you could believe. Oh, go man. It's mad, bro. It's, it was a shambles. It was a shambles. Every, every single thing that you could possibly God. think can go wrong for bottle jobs, this is exactly it. You, you, you take the lead due to a fraudulent penalty, a fortunate red card. The manager of the opposition team gets sent off. You take the lead twice. They're down to 10 men and you still drop points. It's, it's mad. And if I'm to lay it on extra, their most dangerous attacker, who is from us, obviously didn't play. That's true for Fana. So it's... it's one of the most embarrassing <laughs> results of the season, honestly. It's it's mad. Um <laughs> without without Cole Palmer, without Cole Palmer, I don't know where we'd be. I think we're one point better off than we were last year. So in about 50 years, we'll probably win the league. Um judging by that that kind of you know statistical um outlook. But yeah, it's mad. I mean, it, 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 we went we went back and forth as well. It's not even not even like we dominated the game. We we had our chances, obviously, Sterling missed an absolute sitter. Jackson missed some chances. Palmer maybe could have squared a couple of opportunities. Gallagher. But they hit the crossbar. Like, they had chances. Petrovic still made saves. It was actually end-to-end. It was like a proper... It was almost like Man City versus Liverpool of, of old. It was incredible. It was a great game um, for the neutral, if you watched. Um, 
and it is Cole Palmer FC. I think the did club you, did of you now... just did you just compare? Yes, I'm taking the piss, but I am gonna do that. Yes, because Chelsea, that's where it was. Burnley to oh, it was back Man City, Liverpool, hey yeah, Is that it, what it you just do, said? It was, it was do or die. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. mad. <laughs> Bro, this this is how we play against Leeds, against um, against who else have we played? We've played Leeds. We've played Leicester. Who else? Leicester. Leicester. That's Leicester. It, yeah. uh, Wimbledon. Uh, <laughs> Lots of clubs. Yeah, yeah. We, we do this back and forth with these mediocre teams. It's crazy. So you'd think that Burnley play in a it? style of football that's actually quite open and they leave gaps. You'd think that we'd go there and just, well, we'd, we'd, we'd beat them quite comfortably. But no, nah, no. Nah. We, we always have to make it difficult for ourselves. We always have to make it a struggle. It's funny because before the game, Poch said that on data, we, we, we're fourth. Uh, we should be, you know, should be fourth. Um, fourth from bottom. And, and, yeah, I don't know which one. Yeah, so maybe he meant that. But... We're now we're now eleven. <laughs> um, I keep saying since the Wolves game for me that was when I knew there was going to be no more consistency with the season. Or well, there hasn't been any consistency, but I just knew we wasn't going to get a European spot. And if you can't beat Burnley at home with ten men, um, and and by the way you're fortunate to get something because you could have lost, then mm-hmm. you're finished. The league campaign's done. I don't really care about Man United right now because I'm still pissed with the, the the result on the weekend. But Man United's going to be an These absolute tra- travesty. It's two clowns. Um, sparring, but because I'm not going to say punching because you know that's that's output. Yeah. We but, will be there though. We will but be there. <laughs> who knows there. what's going to happen there? Yeah, the Wimbledon game was a cup game, so I, at this point, I'm it's just Cole Palmer. That's the only person, and, and maybe a bit of gusto as well. It's a very couple of individuals at the club that are keeping us um, sane. But my worry is is that if we keep being mid going on to next season could i don't know what's going to happen with the points you know with the deduction financial fair play i don't know what's going on there then people like palmer are going to be looking for pastures new you know what i'm saying it's going to be um it's going to be they're going to be looking for european football looking for higher heights i'm sure robert is somewhere there telling me to relax and remain calm i'm doing my very best but when you're dropping points home to burnley a team that have I, I don't know how many minuses in their goal difference and I don't I don't even think they can even have a chance of staying up they're already preparing for life in the championship it's very difficult um some people will say I'm doing too much I think those people are being sarcastic now I'm gonna just pretend that you're being you're being sarcastic because there's no way no way on this earth that anybody would not be slightly concerned at a bare minimum with what's going on this is crazy i know one person yeah listen i i'm not here to speak on behalf of others anyway it's just my my own personal grievances my own personal um worries and concerns if you're not worried and concerned then um all the power to you and i I, i'm happy rise robert mugabe rise where are you son but for me for me i didn't predict predict one-on-one with robert no, when are I'm, you going to invite no. Robert on the homegrown podcast? Because I see you inviting no. KG and Turkish. <laughs> when we don't it, talk when about listen, 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 listen. Listen. Your invite will come, of course. We don't talk about football. No, 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 not for me. I'm talking for Robert. For we Robert. don't talk about football. On the homegrown podcast, we don't talk about football. We talk about life. We talk about, you know, <laughs> life and journeys and um, anything other than football. This is my escape route. It's my mm. escape route. Yeah, therapy, see, therapy. It's not by accident. It's not by accident. Just in case things get sticky icky for next season. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about other things. You know, we have other things to talk about. So <laughs> you're broadening your horizon. Of course, you know, we must we must man. spread our wings, spread our wings and fly. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Do you know um, what's mad though? Yeah, do you know what's mad though, Matisse? Yeah, when mm. when I left this show, the oh, Gremlins shit. were dining at the top table, man. They were mm. swinging off the fucking lampshades. They were flying around the fans. They were they were strip. You know they were you know they've seen in Gremlins when they're all the little stripper one comes yeah. and they go this and they got cigarettes. <laughs> they were party time in Gremlin Town. And I've come back now, and, and and you're in the sewers, man. You're in the you you like you like splinter, master splinter in the sewers, man. That's where you belong now. And I, I want to know what's going on. Man. It's just that's one minute it's, it's all party it's... time, gremlins, new batch, and now it's like teenage mutant Ninja Turtles seventeen, the gremlins, and you're all in the sewers, like just fucking chilling, and you you're accepting it, man. You're accepting it. The Chinos and Lattes, isn't it? Chinos and Lattes. What happened to that era, man? The Chinos and Lattes era. The Chinos, the Lattes, you're feeding them after midnight, all that. You know, the Gizmo t-shirt. Where's the Gizmo t-shirt, man? You got Where is it? I've still got it in the wardrobe. Yeah, I've still got it in the wardrobe. You're going to have to start wearing that. Retro vibes. Retro vibes, man. Yeah. (laughs) Man said retro vibes. I I, I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm kind of speechless, bro. This is is actually glorious, man. 
Like from, Glorious, from a honestly. from a sport inside, it's embarrassing, right? The results, the position in the table, <laughs> financially, it's embarrassing. Medically, it's embarrassing. Physically, it's draining. It's everything. Every, every single itty is mad. Um, it's mad. Let me even check the team that played. Let me check this Chelsea team that played. Listen, we don't need to do that. It's 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 a team that should be blaming Burnley for fun, as you would say. You know, it's, it's I don't no think they've got that many. I don't even think they've got many, that many injuries and stuff. No, we now. do have a lot of injuries. We always have a lot of injuries. That's yeah? one thing that I can confirm. Okay, yeah, no we problem. always have a lot of injuries. There's there's never okay, been no a time this season where we've had fewer than about eight injuries in the first. We had the team. Told However, let's it's, talk not about... an, it's not an excuse. We just yeah. So it we was, just um, it was Petrovic, yeah. who's their number one now. Um, Gusto, who's they're pretty much their number one so, fullback as well now. Yeah, yeah. So they got, why are you doing um, this? Axel, Did I make an excuse? Yeah. Go on. Axel De Sassi. They got Booty Ishil, who started as well. Um, Huchi wow. Rela. Uh, <laughs> Caicedo. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on, man. Enzo <laughs> Fernandez. <laughs> cold Palmer, to be fair. Let me correct myself. Cold Palmer, because he's cold. Fair. Um, Conor Gallagher. Um... Captain what do they Skipper, call him? You, what does the expression call him? Ukrainian Bolt and um and Action Jackson. So that was the team that started. That was the team that not started. Not bad. Not bad. I'm That's not gonna lie. I pretty much. Early. I'm not gonna lie. Don't read out the Burnley lineup because before, like this season, I don't think I've heard of one player from Burnley. Yeah, so I, I, did, I didn't know many of the yeah it's long. Time. I'm gonna be honest. I don't Burnley. know if you guys, Turkish Burnley. Steve, Saeed, nah. these guys might have known more Burnley <laughs> players than me. Because you lot of football, Sand- Sand- Steven Sand- Saida from that ends. I knew about mm. maybe one it's or two players. Left winger, that's it. Yeah. Sanderberg. He was good. He was good. He was good. He was good. Yeah, Sanderberg. Yeah, he plays today. But I ask this question every week, and I know it's not. It's a very difficult question, and I don't really address it at Matisse. I address no, it at the the it? Chelsea fan base, like on the whole, like. How do you see yourselves getting out of this shithole, um, man? Because it's a shithole. Like Steve you know referenced what? it as a, as a, what did you say? Sewers. It is. It's the rats. Are, that's where you find rats. You know, it's in draining. The sewers. It's draining right now because the whole fan base couldn't be more split. There's, and I, I again, I, I, it doesn't surprise me. And I, I, it doesn't, um, it doesn't, it doesn't surprise me. It doesn't shock me. And, and to be honest, I, I, I actually get where everybody's coming from in their own perspective but for me it's a combination of everything mm-hmm. but there's there's people pulling away to obviously ownership which is which is they are the constant because they've been there the whole time we've been mediocre mediocre um Strasbourg just had protests over the weekend they're part of the blues oh. co group um and and credit to them because you know I'm not a fan of multi club model never have been um and then there's people that will blame entirely on Poch and say that the team has got enough quality to be a lot higher in the table and that he is just inept and tactically just inept yeah and then there's people that will go straight all to the players they're just they're just garbage a lot of the players are just not good enough they're just not of the level they haven't got the experience they haven't got the the, the ability um then there'll be some that will go to the sporting directors because they're the ones that brought in the players and what are they actually trying to do in terms of are they just bringing in players to flip for profit i was having a debate with someone on, on twitter earlier today and they were obviously asking me it was the same question i was asking a few months ago which is why would we spend 200 million on Caicedo and Enzo if we're just going to flip them for profit but then what was articulated to me from a journalist that I spoke to before is that when you look at those two signings you have to be careful because they were obviously amortized over eight years so when you amortize 100 million over eight years it's just over 10 mil well what is it it's just under 10 mil right um so you're gonna yeah just over 10 mil so you're gonna get to a point where in four years in Enzo's contract you could potentially sell him for maybe I don't know 70 you might make an account in profit. So there's a, there's so much going on with, can we trust? Well, a lot of people don't trust, but who can we trust? If we sack him, who do we hire? Can we trust these guys to even hire the right person? Medically, the team is is on its ass the whole season. The doctors, what's going on behind the scenes there? There's there's um, applications on Indeed for, for head of medical. Uh, are they going to hire the right person to stop all these injuries? It's, it, bruv, there, there, there is so many problems. That is tiring. You, you don't even know where to start. Every single part of the, of, of of the of the club is up for question right now. So it's mad. It's mad. Are you? Are you, just... are you up for question? Well, I've already been questioned. Did you not see my skip, bro? Man, man got kicked out of his own yard for one no, 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 no. I'm not talking about Poch. I'm saying just you in general as a Chelsea fan. 
What do you mean? Where, where do you think I'm going? To, I want to, you. To I want you understand as well. I want. I want you understand. I want you cooked as well. Just like just I've like been cooked. Uh, am I not the one on the, on on this panel? Am I not the one on on the roundup? No, what no, do you no. Mean you're cooked? not being cooked enough. You're not being cooked enough. Okay, well then, whatever whatever extra ingredients you want to. Go on, Toby. Cooking, then, brother, you, you started cook. then. Nobody, no, nobody no, no, no! I don't. I've, I've, I've flamed him too many times. I've, I'm, I'm oh, actually sorry. just sitting back and just hearing him list, just hearing him it's list all the, all the issues. It's burnt you know toast, bro. Is, That's what Chelsea are, burnt know, toast, because it's been cooked too many times. Do you know what's oh, hilarious, yeah. Matisse, yes? I was reading something about Armando Broyer, yeah. So Fulham had that clause that if he didn't make a certain amount of minutes, yeah, yeah, they'd have to pay four million. And Fulham don't want to play this guy so bad. That they've just taken it all and just said, "Yeah, fuck it, we're paying the four. We're paying the Mini four just, million. Mini is just cooking. Not play they're, it. Other, they're other strikers <laughs> cooking, man. They, I think they're signing for six million from Brazil. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And, and yeah, he's, yeah. Sm he's smashing it, man. He's smashing it. He's banging in goals. Yeah. Got a great, a great um, scissor that's kick over the weekend. Yeah. And he, you know that that's mad. And in January, I said it in January. I think we weakened our team, um, which is mad when you're mid table and then you weaken your team in January. And that's just from outgoings like Matson, I think, could have contributed, but Poch doesn't want to use him. Mm. Andre yeah, Santos, I wanted. Time, Andre, Andre Santos, I think, could have contributed based on the preseason I saw. Now, now he's at Strasbourg. He's started to play well last couple of games. The manager's not using Cassidy off the bench and saying that the midfield's getting overrun and is, is, is leggy from international break, won't use the other midfielder. Washington never gets a kick. Um, not to say that these young players are, are of the level we should be calling on, but if you're going to keep these guys and you're going to actually have them in the squad, then you've got to use them because you can't then say that the team's tired, but then not use the bench. So it's just, it's just tiring, man. There's so much bullshit going on that I'm just, I'm getting numb, but I'm, I'm still clearly emotional. So it's a, it's a mess. No, no, no. We, we, yeah. we can't have you get numb. We can't have you get numb. They need to pump you with all sorts of, all sorts of toxins and stuff. <laughs> you need to keep you alive and well. You need to feel this pain. You know, like when you know, like when you someone's getting tortured and they just want to, they just want to end the misery quickly. No, 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 no. We got to keep you alive. You have to watch your club disintegrate. He's so numb. You know, you know what? Um, someone said to me today. I can't remember who it was. They said that if based on our second half performances, we'd be in the relegation zone. I don't know if that's fact. Yeah, correct, easy. But easy. It's, if it does feel like that every time we come out for the second half, I don't know what happens. We just look like absolute shit. I don't know what he says at half time or what's going on, but every single time we come out for the second half, we look like shit. First 10, 15 minutes, we're getting bopped in the second half again. For how many games now this has been happening? Um, took us 10, 15 minutes to get into the game as well. They were bopping us at the beginning. And I was like, what the hell's going That's on? Your gaffer, man. Aren't you proud? I'm not proud, no. I'm just I'm very disappointed. Very disappointed. <laughs> I didn't I, I and you know what it is with him, yeah. It's not even just what's on the pitch, it's the way he talks in the presses, like. The whole oh, it, with the ridiculous. data we'd be fourth, and the, the 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 fans need to understand that this is not the Chelsea of old, and we're not going to win leagues. No one no one said that we needed to win a league this season. So many f comparing himself to Klopp and 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 Pep and 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 their time that they needed. I'm just like, bruv, this is this is peak, man. What what are you doing? Hmm. I I think at least if he articulated himself in a way that was taking accountability and and being a bit more consistent instead of. One minute, bro, is the next Harry Kane in the making. Next minute, you're loaning him out to Fulham. Like, mm -hmm. just, just no consistency. What's the man? Just, just I heard Nicholas Jackson miss fair chances as well, by the way. I didn't watch yeah, it. Yeah, he did. He I did. Heard. It wasn't a great day for him. I can't lie. He missed a, he missed some good chances. <laughs> Every, everyone did. Everyone missed chances, man. Could, could have had the game to bed, but this is what we do. So, You know what's about you? Listen, my manager speaks a lot of wass after press conferences, but even Pochettino, some of the things he comes out with, man, you know what I mean? Like, we talked about it before, like the waffle log. Remember, Grizz with yeah. his waffle logs, yeah? That's yeah. Pochettino right there. Bro, you don't want to hear him at the press conferences. The way nah. he tries to justify things and whatnot. And, bro, like, I think Don told me some some comment today and I had to like, yo, is that is it April Fool's what he said? Like, give the ball to Cole Palmer. That's yeah, our apparently. plan. And I was just like, yeah, bro. I was like, what not is April this, Fools. man? It's not April Fool's. Yo, like, generally, like... <laughs> It's just a mess. And like I said, when I seen it 2 2, like I was laughing, yeah, but then I laughed for like about 10 minutes and it just died down. <laughs> it was like, it's Chelsea. You know what I mean, bro? Like, people were saying, yo, cook Matisse. I was like, listen, A, I've got a game later on, yeah. And B, I was like, yeah, but I've laughed too much at Chelsea, man. It doesn't, it doesn't feel right. I need a fresh season. I need it to be back in August fit, again. You know what I mean? So to be laughing at Chelsea even more. You know, do you not think? Think, yeah, and I want. Um, do you not think that I, I feel like he's? I feel like it's deliberate now. Like I feel like he's on a f this. I'm just gonna. He was like a secret yeah, yeah, agent yeah. because the, the way he's performed and the shit he said, 
I genuinely believe he's a double agent because some of the stuff that he comes out with is genuinely like, oh, what can I say today to piss them off even more? <laughs> and he just keeps popping it and popping it and popping it. And it's, Bro, it's beautiful. No one spoke to him in beautiful. the international break. We had two weeks off. And then the first press conference, first press conference back, he's 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 fighting the fan base again. I'm like, bruv, we why you say fuck me for? We didn't even say anything. It's been international break. You know what I'm saying? It's been international break. Why are you coming in on smoke? First, pre first press conference back for Burnley at home. He's already on smoke. Yeah. I'm just like, raw. <laughs> so it's mad, bro. It's mad. It's mad. I don't know what's going on. Go, man. I, man, I just have to, I have to pray. I have to, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> right now, magic, mate. He's dusted, mate. Dusted. Uh, That's what it is, man. He's cooked. He's cooked. He's cooked. Yeah, I think that's He's enough on Chelsea. Yeah, and I'm not gonna yeah. lie. Chelsea, it's like it's honest to God. It's your Turkish is right. It's just what take it. It tells you what. And don't and don't get it twisted, Grizz. Yeah, if there's anyone that would love yeah. to still Same. care about ripping them, it would be like me because when, me, when, yeah, Arsenal, yeah, yeah. when Arsenal were eighth, eighth out of the yeah, top, yeah, yeah. Four, Chelsea fans loved it. You know, they loved mm. the hell out of it. So uh, there's they loved it. I'd they love milked it. More, but I can't force to care. Like I, yeah. I can't. I, I really hope. I'm not, I don't. I don't say this with any confidence, but I really hope we return to the summit because you're gonna. I, I hope that you regret saying that. I hope that you regret not cooking us while we were down. That's all I'm saying. I really hope that. I hope that you regret it. Do you know what you it is? Like you cook. Do you know you what it like is? I want you to look back at this moment. Fuck! Yo, 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 Matisse. You know the Michael Jackson meme. Just, just put it down. Yeah, just put it back. Put it. <laughs> just put it down because even me I can say that yeah but wait, yeah, wait, everyone do it to the everyone do it to the mics everyone do it to the mics yeah yeah put it down put it down sorry Ro Robert Robert text down, me. Robert, <laughs> Robert, Robert text me down, to say that Robert told me to say that <laughs> <laughs> put the mic down see, you see what you got me doing Robert bro you see what Robert, Robert, what did Robert say to you he told me to say that bro yeah. when we return to the summit you text me that See what you got me saying, Robert. I'm joking. Return to the summit, you know. Honestly, I don't think you. I, 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 I'm telling you, and I've said this for about two seasons. You guys are finished as a big club for ages and ages and ages. You won't be back. Can you put a time scale on this? Because I want to know how long I got to be. I, I, I can't. I can't. I can't put a time scale on it. But you will never reach those levels that you've reached. That was it. That was the Roman of era. That's wild. You're not one of those clubs like mm. Liverpool, Arsenal, Manchester United that will have cycles of. You know, maybe five, six. We need to get a mixture of experiences in there. They need experience, winners, mentality, players that have been there as well. They need a bit of everything. Obviously, the managers are managed, but there's some nasty surprises. Do you not there's think we can sneak like a one tight out of nowhere, like a Leicester, like like no you guys? chance? No, yeah, chance. yeah, you, you can, you can, you can believe, bro. Trust the process. <laughs> believe. Hey, so you're telling Paul. I mean, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if you guys agree with me. I don't know if the rest of you guys agree with me. I'm, I'm, I mean it. I'm not even saying that I have a place of bitterness and hatred. Because if I say something like that, then it comes back and they come, tell you I'm going to yeah. get it big time. But Turkish, I'm, I'm, you, better delete, you better delete that Instagram post for the long term. Yo, this we will, we will be back, <laughs> <laughs> bro. That was that was the weekend's post, bro. Do you mean we'll be back? There ain't no comeuppance from that one, bro. Yeah, we, we it. <laughs> nah. <laughs> We were saying on the on the on the, on the watch, and I was like, "Yo, someone said Turkish has put a post up saying believe." I was like, "Nah, man, Turkish don't There's do no that." Steve was, was there. there. I was like, "Steve was, was there so as well." You, I, was so you, I thought you Robert know what it was with me, yeah. The picture bangs, so I thought to myself, "I actually think this is going to end in a draw, and if it ends in a draw, I can't post this pic. So I'm going to take the risk and fucking just post it now." <laughs> uh, it worked. Okay. It worked. It worked. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you can't be celebrating. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah. One, I know one, you mean. Say believe, bro. That's yeah. all mad. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Um, <laughs> all right, Chelsea done in more ways than one, but I just mean on the <laughs> show right now. Um, so we're gonna keep it moving on to super chats. Um, let's see what's going on. I did see one from Robert that I might as well get in since he was he was called upon. He says we we get out of this with a competent manager. Our oh. recruitment has been incredible, but we gave it to the wrong manager. Incredible. That's one thing that SD got to get right this time. The recruitment has been incredible, Robert Mugabe says. I am, <laughs> I am, I am baffled by that. Is, is, yes. is, is there Chelsea? Is there Chelsea fans are, in the chat? Because we know Matisse what Matisse thinks. Are you team Matisse now? No, but I'm saying no. But is there people in the chat, Chelsea fans, that actually believe that the recruitment has been incredible? Not incredible, but they have signed some really good players, though. They, they, they actually have. 
my brother Toby, my brother Toby, when you when you sign thirty seven players, you're gonna sign four or five good ones. You'd hope, yeah. right? It's ratio. It's fucking ratio maths. I've got yeah, I've got right. a B in maths in GCSE, right? I ain't, you know what I mean? I ain't. You know what I mean, Professor of Math Mathematology or whatever. As Saeed would say, mythology. Nah, nah, as, as Saeed would say, mathematology. I'm not a professor of mathematology. Just say mathematics. What the hell? Saeed would say mathematology. Yeah. Yeah. Saeed would say, but if you no, sign no, 37 players, no, That's they sign 37 players, and 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 Mans are saying the three four are good. All right, great Bro, ratio. We're, we're, we're talking about potentially. Okay, we need to sign a new goalkeeper. We just signed two, Sanchez and Petrovic. We're I'm hearing all. Oh, we I'm, I'm hearing all. Yeah. Oh, They're looking for another goalkeeper. I'm hearing uh, three goalkeepers summer. in two seasons. I'm hearing all. Oh, we need to sign a centre back. We just signed De Sassi and Badi Ashil, and for, for we've signed Bidia a centre back. Per, we've signed we've signed a centre back per window. Like, Don't forget, you got Fofana chilling there as well. You got Fofana chilling in the wings. I'm including him. I'm including him in that. Yeah. Like I have to be concerned. I have to be. Like how many you more players do? That's mad, bro. Hundred and what, how much did you spend on? So fifth, obviously, Chilwell was a couple of years back, but sixty-two million on Kukurea, bro. You spent like you spent over hundred and ten mm. million on two left backs, and none of them are good enough for Chelsea. <laughs> Do you know how scary that is? <laughs> yeah, but don't wait. Like, well, don't, don't, like, don't forget, yeah, this guy was there with money guns and fucking white suits and shit, and they're spending bro. money. Bro, 112 12 million on two left backs. And it was what, a suit. Gone. Hold on a second. It was a they suit, a money gun. Gone. It was a suit, money gun, and, and sunglasses. I honestly couldn't resist. And 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 second of all, just to tell you the context of what I was about, people forget what I was about. That was about them saying that we have no money now because Roman's gone. Now, sorry to, you know, spoil the party. Clearly, we have money. We spent a billion, so that wasn't the problem. Do you know what I'm saying? So the money gun was justified. They they were they were they were shaking cups on the streets. Robbie and X saying that, oh, we need some shillings, Chelsea. They have no money. Oh, we okay. have money. Save the bridge. Okay. Save the bridge. So I, I, I wouldn't take save the bridge. You know, there's money. <laughs> we got money. <laughs> That's not the problem. So yeah, uh, we know the context behind that makes sense. We yeah, I know it. we sponsored. Right. We still. I'm just saying we ain't broke. <laughs> just we might be broke now, but. <laughs> Yeah, you know I mean? so, <laughs> oh yeah, we have money, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get the next uh, one in. Um, New says if Arsenal, Liverpool, United pulled what Chelsea have pulled, they'd be doing breaking news every day on CNN and BBC. S says Matisse, you're too negative. Don't worry about a thing because every little thing is gonna be all right. Chelsea, most embarrassing chant ever. Hold that, Urkel, facts. you nerd. Facts. Elisa, they got. <laughs> Big up. Man started with the four eyes again. Did you ever consider Roman clause for a minimum period of ownership for the new owners was more to spite them than love for your small club? You are the true one, one, five more Roman leaks to come and we will enjoy seeing you in the championship. So that clause at the... No, I, I get, no, I get what you're saying. Uh, no, I don't. I don't. I think I have no idea, bro. I, I, for me personally, when someone new comes to a club, I don't think you want a change of ownership every season or every two, three seasons. That's quite a lot of reshuffling. So I think that clause was. And you know what? I said it Obviously, earlier on. If, if it started well, then it, we'd say it's a it's a benefit to the club. Um, do you I think? think um, I don't think so, you can so, predict what they what they were going to do. do. You, do you, man, think I said it with with Curtis? I think it was with Curtis or Forever Arsenal, one of them. Do you think this whole chopping? Remember back in the day, like 90s, early 2000s, Real Madrid were known for like the only club that were ruthless enough to sack managers, even if there's titles, because the expectation is, is far greater than just the league title. Then Chelsea mm. came into play and then Chelsea start chopping and changing. Has that been part of the reason that's led us to where we are now in terms of if you look around, man managers are scarce because even the ones that start building a reputation, they take too big a step and then their name is tarnished. And, and you know, we can look at Conte and Tuchel for more recent examples. We can look at Villa Boas as, as one, you know, more, you know, 10 years ago. Because when you look around at managers, the, when people ask, who do you want after? Like, even when Arteta was under pressure, who do you want after? Like, with Pochettino now, who do you want after? There's not a clear candidate or a clear pool of candidates. Even Liverpool search. There should be at least one, two outstanding candidates to pick from. And there's none. Yeah, there was, well, wasn't there? Xabi Alonso was an outstanding candidate. Yeah. But... Wasn't he? Wasn't he signed, so delivered? 
<laughs> mm. <laughs> but Jab hey. Delonga, even 10, 15 like years him. ago, he would have been one coming, you know, going under the radar. <laughs> don't get don't get Uncle Grizz mad, please, man. It's late. You know what? <laughs> um, PG Lang says Clear Lake out. Rest in peace, Chelsea old boys. And Robert says yes, it has, and I stand by it. Did we get a couple wrong? Yes, but every team does. Most of the players we bought are very talented, and I believe that. But the way you say, did we get a couple wrong? Yes, that is, that's not. You're just saying that, like, did we get a couple wrong? Yeah, most the couple that you got wrong are, are costing sixty to hundred m's. Right. Like, it's not. This is what I don't get. This is what I don't get. You spent they, over a billion pounds. What, you, what do you mean? Shut up, man. Leave him alone now, man. You're, you're like, you're, you're, I'm, I'm, you're pissing me off now. Oh, is it because <laughs> of the Jabby London? <laughs> it's the Jabby London thing, isn't it? <laughs> he, he held it in for like 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> that was a delayed reaction. <laughs> he is pissing me off. Isn't he pissing you off? Do, do you know what? Yeah, you see, with me, I'm, 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 I'm so tired now that I can't even really hear him. So, man, send this super chat for no reason. <laughs> yeah, you're a nasty with this. Hey, Jabby. <laughs> Nick, <laughs> Nick, great, <laughs> but I done a hey this week, so don't go anywhere. Oh, hey, did. Ruben. Anyway, hey, Ruben. anyway, anyway, Listen, moving on. We won't go anywhere. Will no, you go anywhere? We, we don't go anywhere. We're gonna speak. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Moving on. We're gonna speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. don't go anywhere. <laughs> we, will speak. we will speak. We're here. Discord knows about we're here, it. We're here, man. We're here, we're here, man. Come on. Nick, Nick says, um, you know how some people say that they don't care about City because they always win? It's becoming like that with Chelsea. People don't care because they always lose, pretty much. Um, true. True. Yeah. Fucking like a loss, isn't it? VY says, Grizz, speak up, my friend. Remember Chelsea's chest during the summer when they thought they dunked on Liverpool? Hashtag Chino. I've Wanker. done enough of that, man. In my DMs, my Instagram, Twitter, all these people that were coming at me for like the Lavia, Caicedo, Enzo, and mm. we ended up with Endo. <laughs> <laughs> Good times. Good times. New says, Big Bad Chelsea spent a billion. The only quality we can see is Palmer and Gusto. Crazy thing is those two aren't level raisers for the top clubs right now, in my opinion. Chelsea's bar is just in hell. Big up. Aston Mac, hope you're good. Y'all remember Matisse saying, get your money up, how the tables have turned. Interesting. Yeah, you saying, yeah? They got Ramon. <laughs> Chelsea fans will start to become United fans, living in the past because they have nothing to look forward to in the present or the future. It's looking that way. FT Gunner says, been watching two years and this is my first Snapchat. Massive shout out to Matisse and Saeed. Hate your clubs, but really like your content. Um, LFTL West Ham United bottle hilarious, by the way. Mm, not sure. Love for the love, love for come the on. Love. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah West, big up, man. That's your, that's your catchphrase. <laughs> you, meant, you meant super chat, not Snapchat, mate. Did I say Snapchat? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why yeah, I was going to say, yeah, what, what's Snapchat? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why? Because in the in what happens, everyone's always saying, oh, check SC, check SC, and it's fucking it's Snapchat. Yeah, I don't yeah. have it. Um, next one, next one. Where are we? Is there any more Chelsea wants to get in? Not looking. No. Deco, happy birthday, Matisse. But you can chat Chelsea dribble when the mid six begins. Said, sad little face when. Aya scored, broke me, and I hate mid-table United. Obviously, it was Matisse's birthday yesterday, people. So, Yo, happy up. Late birthday to Matisse now. Long and, yeah. Long day. Oh, was it Happy yesterday? birthday. Man. Happy yeah, birthday, yeah, man. Yeah. You kept that quiet. Yeah. I thought it was today. Nah, nah. I, 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 nah, man. I, I, nah, he I was he so, so focused on... Drinking wine. I was so, yeah, yeah, I was so drinking wine. I was so focused on the mammoth of a game at the Etihad that I forgot it was my birthday myself, but... I got bored watching that, so I decided to go for drinks. <laughs> Alton says the Albanian animal Broja moved on to bigger and better things to Fulham. Big up Big Six from Kosovo. Xhaka lifting trophies before Kane. We will be there. <laughs> mm. And I think that's it for Chelsea, I believe. More than you believe, yeah. Oh, oh, no. Sorry, I saw Jackson. I thought it meant Nicholas. All right, cool. Let's move. Um... Chelsea out the way. Well, I say out the way. Shit, Tobes, back to you because there is predictions to make. The The order hasn't changed. Oh. I'll bring up the prediction table shortly. Well, you, might as well, 
you might as well go United, mm-hmm. didn't it? Because we got we got to play them anyway. So yeah, you might as well move on to United. Yeah, 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 true. Out true. The way. Yeah. Uh, let's do yeah. United. Yeah, I mean uh, <laughs> the El Muddy Coke is on there Thursday, but listen, man, we're we're dead food in it, man. That's all I'm going to say, man. Torture. When I when I when I tell you, yeah, the whole day it was pleasant football. We got to see the uh, the Classico Bayern Munich versus Dortmund. We got to see the Newcastle game, the Chelsea game, the Tottenham game. Match it was was surprisingly entertaining. And then United came. Eight o'clock kickoff. You know, you have to wait all day to watch Manchester United. And I'm telling you right now, that is probably, you know what it is, yeah? Does it make sense that that's probably worse than last year's 4 0 in terms of the way we played? The 4 0 last year when they beat us Brentford, it was like bang, 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 like just goals after goals and it just went. Whereas this one, was like a slow death, like torture. Great point. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, great point. bro, great, great, great. them man dominated us. How they didn't win by four or five, I'll never know. You know what I'm saying to 85 touches in the opposition box. Let me repeat that for you guys. 85 touches in the opposition box. We had, I think, 11. Them man battered us. And then when we won the winner, did you see my celebration? I started laughing because I was like, bro, <laughs> we robbed them. And then, <laughs> you know what I mean? History, you know what I mean? And you know what? Justice, actually. And I think Gary Neville even said it like, you know, there would have been an inquest and we'd have had to give their points back, if I'm being really honest with you. And they got the win. They got their draw. They, they got the draw, justifiably. But we're just awful, man. Didn't really have the ball. Didn't really do much with it. I mean, we had one chance with Hoyland. I think that was our best chance of the game. They made a good save. And just awful. Like, we're the worst team in terms of football. Like, generally, guys, I've said it off the ball, on the ball. We're just horrendous. Yeah, the Liverpool game was was good. But I felt like that was more, me and Chris talk about it, it was more emotions. It was the, the atmosphere. You know what I mean? Like, it was one of them, the occasion. But when we actually have to play football, we're conceding, on average, 16 shots per game. You know, on average, we're just awful, man. And like I said, I've been screaming Ten Hag out for a reason. It's because I just don't know what style we do and what we play like. You know, people say it's vibes. It's not vibes. It's not. You know what I mean? Because it's vibes, then I'd be enjoying it. But I'm not enjoying it. You know, so, <laughs> yeah, man, we're in the mud, man. You know what I'm saying? To, I said it, Champions League football, I always said it, yeah. It's only going to happen if, if Aston Villa and Tottenham, like, proper bottle it. You know what I mean? And I know... Toby, you're laughing and talking about bottling it and this and that, but Bottle, isn't it? you know what I mean? It's, it's a, I just that? don't see it. I just maybe see FA Cup. FA Cup. What happened I'm just, to that, bro? Bottle, isn't it? FA Cup. Yeah. Listen. Bottle, listen. Isn't it? listen, it is what it is, man. Back, it is what it is. Emergency, <laughs> back to back emergency streams is crazy. Man, bro, man, them, I was streaming at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. is crazy. Bro, bro Yo, I told you, I couldn't sleep. I right couldn't now. sleep. I chopped on YouTube and these men are still dead. I can't remember. I think it was Planet Planet Fires, Planet Fez. Yeah, yeah, big up fans, big up fans. He's literally shouting at this other guy called Martin or something like that. Martin. Marcel, like Marcel, Marcel, Marcel. In the morning. And he's like, why do you back Ten Hag? Why do you back Ten Hag? There's nothing in this process. This is like 2.30 in the morning. I couldn't believe yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> nah. It's what it's done to us, man. You know what I mean? This is what we are now. It's my United for you, man. You know what I mean? Turning us. But yeah, man, listen. I think it's just the FA Cup, man. If we can get that FA Cup, leave on a high, and then Tenar can go, that'll be me, man. But we're done out here, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been kicked out of Stockport now. You know what I mean? That's it now. Too many City fans around there. I'm gone now. And I'll be mad tomorrow. The neighbour hates you. The neighbour hates you now. Yeah, I was just yeah, going to say, can, can, you, yeah, can, you give us the, can you give us the lowdown on what happened with your neighbour? Bro, he's he started shouting at me saying, Calm down, yeah. And I said, Bro, what, what do you mean, calm down? Watching the football. And then when I went after to see him, I said, Bro, why don't you knock on my door and just tell me respectfully to put, calm down? And he was like, No, 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 you're talking, you're shouting. I said, Bro, relax yourself, speak to me <laughs> like a proper person. And he just kept insulting me. He said, some, I don't know if he's Iranian or something, but he just started shouting in his language. Then I said, Yo, listen, brother. You know what I mean? I had my I had my stick like this. I said, yo, listen, brother. Now, like, what's going on here? <laughs> Are we going to speak respectfully, amicably? And yeah, man, it just got too much, man. Then I said, you know what? I need to go home, man. Because I never had no iftar. 
Oh, my head was hot. And yeah, man, it's now when we see each other now, it's there's the radio silence. It's just, you know what I mean? There's no talking, there's no hello. You know what I mean? It's it's one of them, man. But yeah, man, beefing on the pitch. And we're beefing off it, man. It's mad. It's mad. It's yeah, mad. Like... You know, when you know, talk about 2 3 a.m. in the morning when you're like watching TV, you see on channel five them shows nightmare neighbors, yeah. This fucker's gonna be on it with his crutch in a few years. Nightmare neighbors, channel five. <laughs> channel five. Isn't it? Man, beating some Iranian dude up in his garden with a crutch. <laughs> give, him some, uh, give him some food, man. Have you tried like giving him some some of your iftar? Send him some dates. No, I'm not giving peace, nothing, peace man. Offering. Are you mad? Peace I offering, brother. Nothing, wait, wait, man. listen. I'm the community man. No, trust man. Me. I don't want that no, in stock. I don't want that in community stock. You know, you know can, people man. You, you know can give him Okay. When people start thinking their own language, okay, no problem. No, it could. Yeah, it's all man. Knuckle sandwich. Yeah, bro, bro, man was high up his head, man. He was high up his head. To fucking incite (laughs) violence once again. (laughs) Nah, man. I last time there was there was was a Nigerian family there. I got them some food. I got them some presents. This guy ain't getting shit, mate. You know what I'm saying? If not, I'm leaving in a week here. I'm gonna be loud as hell, mate. Yeah, till this till I leave, I'm gonna be loud as hell. I'm gonna make sure his life is a misery. How about that? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Then I'm a calm guy, me. But they you, never complained. Really one, one shoulder and Tobes on the other. I swear yeah, to man, get out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, you man. Definitely, you, definitely didn't up, man. Buy, you did definitely didn't buy anyone food because you are the tightest man on no, the planet. I knew you were the food with Steve. You need to just pay pay for the milk because the amount of times I've heard Bro, that listen, you ain't paying for You know what it is? Yeah, but you don't don't say, you can't say you're a calm man. You you know, Said, you need to build your studio. You need to build your studio in a I don't know in a calm. Maybe in a forest somewhere or something, soundproof everything. You can't, <laughs> yeah, you can't true. be living in a community, local community, and say, "Yeah, you're going to do no, watch-alongs." Get... My brother, this is your career. My brother, this is your life. <laughs> you cannot be ruining other people's lives and other people's sleep. Yeah, I know, I know. My advice to your get, neighbors uh, would be: no, I'm switching now. I'm switching. All your, all your neighbors need to get together and go to the local yeah, council yeah. and complain about you and get you out of here because you're, <laughs> no, no, nah, because. Nah, you're wild. You can't say I'm a calm man. Your watch-alongs yeah, are yeah. some of the best movies I've seen this year. The best movies. And I ain't gone Bro. to one cinema. I'm telling you now, mm. you are great, great viewing. But you need to go to a forest or a desert somewhere mm. remote and make a little studio mm. and do your watch-alongs. Catch fire. But please, stop ruining yeah, your nah. communities. I'm going to get soundproof walls, man. I'm gonna, soundproof I'm gonna walls. Soundproof on there. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to get some, some of that, man. And just, yeah, man. But that's what United do, man. Bro, I can't watch United in peace. I don't think I've watched a game this year where it's just been chilled out, man. It's, bro, it's not, man. It's mad. You know I'm saying? I don't do this. Do you, do you know what's mad? Do you know what's mad? Because like you said it yourself, last year, I think Brentford's XG this year was more than it was last year. Last year was just like Brentford, just like they, they were hitting you on the counter. This yes. year was literally end-to-end domination. It was mad. And we're talking about Brentford. This is a team that have parked... The nastiest. Oh. And when I say nasty, I mean this is a team that have popped the nastiest buses against the teams on this panel. And they literally said, you know what? No, let's we're gonna throw bodies forward. We don't care about this team. Mm. We're going to throw bodies forward, we're gonna pummel them, we're gonna press them, we're gonna trap them, pen them. And they said, We're not gonna give this team any respect. And lo and behold, they like you said, they should have won. They should have won comfortably. I don't I don't know how that game ended, ended um one one. That was a mad I, I, even I, I've yourself, said that. I said this today, and and um, and I and I really believe it. And you guys tell me otherwise. If we can remember, like in terms of the most one-sided game between, like if you if you if you actually analyze the disparity between the two teams, and no disrespect to Brentford, all right, they're they're an okay Premier League team, but this is Man United, right? Man United and Brentford. Has there been a more one-sided game in terms of the disparity between the teams? It's unheard of. Like that was domination bordering on embarrassment, embarrassment levels. And the effed up thing is we go there Sunday. We go there Sunday, right? And I'm talking about this We don't be there. We don't be there. This is is the mad (laughs) thing, right? That's what I'm saying. That's football. It's Listen. football, isn't it? Like they got Chelsea, of course. He called it the El Modico, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? This Thursday, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then we go there, and obviously we're going to preview it later. But it's mad. Like that was embarrassing, and I'm and I'm and I'm saying it with my chest, even though we they could stop us from winning the league on Sunday. But 
any Man United fan watching that and anyone who's defending Man United or the process or the manager or the players needs to get in the bin. Because honestly, that was cringeworthy mm. watching that performance. And I, look, credit to Brentford. But Brentford are not even... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saeed, was it some so, some form of record touches in the box or something? No, no, no. Man City. Man City um, have the record. Against you can understand Norwich Man City in, having it or Arsenal yeah. having it who play tippy football. Yeah, yeah. Brentford are known yeah. to Brentford are to know not to play that kind of football, yet they were doing that to you guys. Do you know what that means? <laughs> Dead man yeah. like Jensen and Yarmolenko out there, bro. I don't know these guys. Oh, Yarmolenko, man. Man was, I don't know I who's think, I don't I know think think who's Yamalenko. Yeah, I think I think Mbomo might be more important than Tony for Brentford, you know. I think what do you mean by that? Bro, we saw man, bro. We saw this guy, we saw. We, we saw we saw needs to play bro. for we saw would be bad boy for your team, you know, Spurs, Toby. Bro, listen, yeah, good, bro. anyone, man. Good, How are you man, good? Man. How are you good? Why are you doing these ones again? Watch this. He does these every time I nominate a player or a manager. Oh, no, no, I'm good. Months later, you know what? Yeah, he's the one I need. Yeah, yeah. Which is decent, but he plays in a two. We don't need I don't want him. It's fine, it's cool. He's mm. a good he's a, he's no, bro, you stick to Brennan Johnson, no problem. I didn't want oh, Brennan Johnson. Johnson. This man that was telling me I was begging for saying no to him. I didn't want him. So what's your point? Yeah, I'm Do telling you, Vissa man. instead of Brennan Johnson, and you're saying no, I don't want he him. Play where he doesn't play as a lone striker. Where's he gonna play? Options, man. Horses for courses, man. Haven't you heard no, that I'm saying? Good, I'm good. I'm good. All right, I'm you good. keep playing that high line. All right, so, 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 so. that's true. That's true. That's true. Uh, let's get yeah. the United Super Chats in and then we do the predictions because we've just passed one hour, nearly 8K in the building. Hit the like button, people. KD oh, says Turkish. That Marcel guy makes Ty look 100 times better. Only difference, he speaks calmly. Looking forward to the buying game. Big up Marcel, United View. Eastside London says, Big oh, up man. all you, man, and good to see Big Steve's back. And a special shout out to my biological brother, Tap in Tobes. Whoever this guy is, yeah, you're going to get blocked soon, honestly. Like he's he's violating. You're you're violating. You're nah, get... that's crazy, man. If that's the genuine person, now <laughs> like, we're gonna, gonna be that, man. <laughs> nah, that's bad, man. I nah, can't man, even laugh at that. lie. D that's that's bad, man. D Wise says, "Can we get a Turkish and Grizz laugh a lot?" Look, Steve, Steve's lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Steve's lost it. <laughs> He's gone. He's, he's gone. He's gone. Uh, take a minute, Steve. <laughs> Can we get a Turkish and Grizz laugh along for the Chelsea United game? Tobes and Steve are more welcome to join in the laugh. Hey. Yo, Matisse, Matisse. So that that watch on a Thursday. Can I um? Can I hop on? Stop asking to join, brother. You're not joining no watch along, bro. Right? Oh, is it Thursday? We're playing. Otherwise, I'll join in. We're playing on Thursday as well. Yo, so I, I I can't hop on the the watch. No, you're no. not hopping on the. Why? Saeed, Why can I hop on? You know, you know me. How could I watch Chelsea and then listening to you, know? you cackling in the background as we concede? How can that happen? Do you know how <laughs> clinically insane you'll drive me? It's not happening. <laughs> Even for entertainment purposes, I wouldn't do it. No chance, Broski. Like, no. No. Even what you you wouldn't do watch along with Tobes, no. Not on my not Brother, on my next channel. season. <laughs> for the next season, next season, don't go anywhere. I'm in soon. I'm Not in winning. soon. Not <laughs> <laughs> you, better, you better make it a studio so I can run away. Yeah, no very studio settings. <laughs> studio settings. Um, Frankie says the neighbor shouting at Saeed and Saeed whispering his match review after was peak entertainment. The quote, the brights are too light for him. We move. Is that what you said as well? <laughs> no way. There's no way you said that. No right? way you didn't say that. No, nah, I, don't, I don't remember this one. I don't remember <laughs> Can someone this one. send us footage? Please. Yeah, send the footage you, right? any, to any one of us, <laughs> please send that. <laughs> any one Never of us. Never die say attitude. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff that man. needs to go into the skullfuggery Listen, material Discord chat. I remember this one, man. Please I send us this footage. <laughs> I want to hear him say the brights are too light for him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, man. That's crazy. Uh, Memphis Depay says, let's be honest, even a draw was daylight robbery for United. Mount left wing Bruno Cam and Anthony Wright, deadly trio. Mm. Bruno, um, man. Yeah, man. Deadly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, tongue in cheek. Um, I think actually there was some when I scroll up. Let me quickly scroll up because there's a lot of City Arsenal ones in there. Um, this guy says if Chelsea finish mid table next season, then it's time to to be relegated as a big six club. Yeah, it's not it's not looking great. Um, 
I think actually here we are. Here's another one from Josh and Chelsea. Big up to the whole panel. Crazy that the only City player to score against Arsenal this season was Cole Palmer. Impossible to predict the top three from here. Going to be more twists for sure. Yeah, that is mad when you say that. Um, <laughs> where's it? Never say die. At, never die. Say attitude, Saeed. I'm still searching for the kids that you taught. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, man. Them kids. Bro, they're chilling, man. They're chilling. They're chilling. (laughs) (laughs) They're chilling. They're chilling. Um, Also, big up all as well. Why is Matisse judging out a game like his team wins every week? Go react to the Fulham game. Matter of fact, here's a rebrand. Mark team never wins. Big up all who came on the day for the, the backyard chat. And he's gifted five big six memberships as well. And... Actually, I'm not going to say and, but he's going to help us out with setting at the big six. Um, something hopefully we get in time for next season, um, along with the little hint we just gave you. But big up all, I'm going to message you soon, my bro. Um, and that's pretty much that for the Super Chats on Chelsea or actually one just in. Ironically, United are the fourth team with the least goals conceded. City, Arsenal and Paul are the three that's better, which is insane. Yeah, it's all, it's, it's, it's I don't even know that, you know. All up for grabs. But the problem is, man, we got zero goal difference, man. So, don't know, man. Um, and that's it. Cool. Let's keep it moving. Um, prediction table, no change. But Grizz did get a correct score. The only one to get a correct score over the weekend. Whoa. But no change in the order. Tobes top, Saeed oh, second. I'm in third. Matisse in fourth. Hughes in fifth. And Grizz is in sixth. But remember, people... Opta 5. We're playing that now and the winner of the Opta 5 table gets 5 points on the prediction table and the loser gets 5 points taken off them on the prediction table. So it could all be changed. It could all be changed. Opta um, 5 is a humbler. Gr- Grizz, you literally have to win that. You know that, right? Why are you telling me something I already you know? Have to win. You, you, yeah, like, you don't just be waiting for someone to get deducted points. You need to win that table. Like You're under a lot of pressure. I'm what do you can't believe? I'm what do you can't believe? I'm studying, bro. He's studying. <laughs> This is, this um, is for you. <laughs> gone, Tobes. First up, Chelsea United. Um, I'm gonna go one one. One one. Where is it? Uh, Stanford Stanford Bridge. Bridge. By the Stanford way, that Bridge. doesn't matter. That doesn't, that doesn't mean matter. shit. Yeah, that don't mean shit. That doesn't mean anything. Anything. Um, Said. Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go Desmond, 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, that's exactly what Hugh's gone for, 2-2. Two, two. Steve? Don't give a shit. How's was that? <laughs> yeah, I get you. If I wasn't if I wasn't part of this show week, we can not say the same fucking thing. We're finished, We're finished. We're finished, man. Yo, he said he's got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> you got bigger um, things to worry about, man. Harlan's first touch on us, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's finish the prediction first. It wasn't a bad first touch against you the other week, though, was it? <laughs> yeah, <probably. laughs> um, I'm going to go for... Everyone's gone for draw so far. I'm going to go for... Chelsea, man. You, man. In it. It's exactly Chris, my it's thoughts. I, I actually said, I actually want to write, I don't give a fuck as well, and just concede yeah. the points for the week. But let me write, um, let me do 1 1. Let me do 1 1. Go with, how oh, about Tobes went 1 1? That's not great, is it? It's not. Uh, I'm going to go, <laughs> I'm going to go 2 1. 2 1 to who though? Hmm. Yeah. He knows, he yeah. knows who, man. He's going to say, innit? Hmm. Two one to Chelsea. Fuck it, why not? Um, Matisse. No, no. If there's a goal, then wow, wow we. <laughs> Grizz. Two one Chelsea. Two one Chelsea as well. Cool. Couple two ones, couple two twos, couple one 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 nil nil one. I don't give a shit. Um, that rounds off the Chelsea United predictions, and it slowly but surely brings us into the big boys now. But before we get into that, big up everyone that's become a member already, and big up everyone that's become a member throughout. You know the show tonight. Um, 
everyone or well, not everyone but a few people were asking about discord the link is in the description now so follow that link in the description and you should be connected to the server if you're not then make sure you connect your youtube account to your discord because obviously you're a member through your youtube account so go into the account settings link your youtube channel and then you should have free access to the server it's already active and um, if there's any further problems then let us know in the comment section below but the instructions are also there follow that link it should be easy enough but like i said if there's any other problems then just let us know in the comment section um below but yeah let's move arsenal well i say arsenal city no arsenal no liverpool took advantage of a 2-1 win we'll, we'll we'll roll them all up into discussion but it makes sense to start with city arsenal no no steve home team um might as well get your thoughts on it first want a classic um no. it's, it's it's i don't before the game yeah we did AFTV. we did everything you guys were saying to me you didn't want to draw you're disappointed with a draw you feel like you can go there and win since the draw the narrative's changed apparently this draw is brilliant arteta has done a master class in defending they've gone to the etihad and got a point now before the game that wasn't what people were saying. People were saying Arsenal are the farm team. They're scoring fives, the sixes. If they want to win the league, they've got to go to the Etihad and win. This is what I said on the preview. Come to the Etihad, win. I think if, if Arsenal win, everyone takes a step back and says, fucking hell, fair play. Arsenal could win the league. But I, I, I think they were happy with the draw. The, but the, the, this has shot both teams in the feet. The Arsenal are thinking, Arsenal fans are thinking about Man City and saying Man City fans are rattled with a draw. What about Liverpool? You've just they're just running up, going to run away with it. You know, Liverpool are more than capable of winning game after game after game after game. Um, I just feel like this isn't the best City team we've seen. Over the last six years, the five teams that have won the title, this is the worst one. It's not ticking. It's not been a great season. We're just getting over the line in games. We're making hard work of it. The midfield doesn't attach to the attack. Haaland is isolated. And I just feel like Arsenal just thought, you know what, two banks of five, and let's just, I'm happy, I'm happy with it. They didn't even try. The only time they got us on some sort of a break was if Doku gave the ball away or Kovacic gave the ball away and Arsenal had a chance. Other than that, and City didn't have no chances. City, City didn't have any shots. But Arsenal went to Porto the other week. Porto dug in, two banks of five. Arsenal didn't have no shots. But does that mean... Arsenal are a bad team, or does that mean Porto defended well? So I think Porto defended well, and I think Arsenal defended well. But I also think, I'm going to be honest, that they missed a great opportunity to have a pair of bollocks and go and attack City at the Etihad. So I'm not buying into this, oh, Arsenal defended, Arsenal um, is great, Arteta went there, made sure we didn't get beat. You needed to go there and win. If you want to win the league, you need to go there and win. We went to Anfield last week. We've never won there in, what, 10 years with a crowd? And we tried to win. And we nearly got beat. And we come out of it a draw. I feel like Arsenal was happy with that. I just feel happy with it, you know? Everything was nullified. It, yeah, if you want to call it a defensive masterclass, call it a defensive masterclass. But you ain't Burnley. You ain't Chelsea. Chelsea came there, got a point. I feel like Arsenal uh, should have came and won. I think they should have been brave. United was brave. They went 1-0 up. They should have been 2-0 up. If they'd have got 2-0 up United and defended, they could have nicked that win. They missed the chance and City, City took it. I just don't buy this. I think that some of the Arsenal fans' mentality is wrong. I just think, I'm disappointed with a draw. I'm coming out the ground. I'm thinking that was absolute shit. We created no chances. We couldn't get through Arsenal. Don't get me wrong. Teams set up like that against us. But they're not very good teams and we get through. Arsenal set up like that, and they're a good side. And, and to play like that, they got the point. But I just think both teams have concentrated on each other that much. We're fucking forgetting about the elephant in the room. Liverpool just gone clear. And I thought, I just thought it was disappointing. I thought, I come out of Anfield the other week, and I thought, both teams had a goal. If we'd have won, fair enough. If Liverpool had won, fair enough. I came out of that, and I thought, City were trying. We, we had the ball in their half. We aren't doing much with it. And Arsenal just thought, you know what? They ain't going to get through. We'll just move side to side, keep it sweet. And I just think it was for a big game, like we built it up. I just think it was fucking poor, man, from both sides. But we're I... definitely not of the races. We're definitely not of the races. We're not playing well. And, you know, I don't know what the, the outcome's going to be. But listen, 
Arsenal, mentality-wise, all wrong. If I'm an Arsenal fan, I'm coming out of that game and I'm disappointed. I'm not celebrating the point. I'm not celebrating. This is not the same Man City who used to play and getting beat. This is a different Man City. This is a team where if you had a pair of bollocks, if you if that Saka and 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 Trossard and Martinelli and all that really wanted to get them balls over the top and have a go at us, Arsenal would have beat us because this season Arsenal are better than us. But then, but 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 you was the favourites and you probably needed yeah, to win. Forget more. that. Forget that. I watch football with my eyes. There's only one team that came to to that game who wanted to win. We were in your half trying to win. You was trying not to get beat. That is the difference. You did not try and win. I think from then, open from open play, we created the better chances. Your two best chances. Yeah, but the chances were created by us giving you the ball and like Doku passing it to Trossard and putting him through. But that's, you know? but Steve, I mean, you can't say created by you because of our good pressing because Pep has built his career nah, off of the way he presses. I, I, you couldn't, you won't blame. Listen, listen, this might upset the Arsenal fans. I don't give a shit. But I'm telling you now, you ain't winning the league, mate. You ain't winning it. You've not got the mentality because you flip-flop all the time. You came to the Etihad with chess telling everyone to believe, but you didn't believe in yourself. And your manager didn't believe you could do it because he set you up to defend in your own half. So let's not pretend it was a bit of a ding-dong and you was getting us on the counter-attack. It was in your own half. We had 75% possession, yeah? We had Kovacic running around with the ball, nobody touching him. But we was huffing and puffing, we weren't good enough. And then the, you're claiming a moral victory against Erling Haaland. I've seen Wolves defenders restrict Erling Haaland to less touches. That don't, That's not a moral victory of Erling Haaland. Man City are not playing to his strengths. Kevin De Bruyne was not on it. But that Arsenal team ain't winning the league. You're concentrating on the wrong team. That was your opportunity. Liverpool went clear. That was your opportunity to win at the Etihad. The last five years, you had no chance because we're miles better than you. L this Liverpool, year, we're Liverpool haven't won at Etihad throughout this whole era. They haven't no, won but you, you could have come there. We're weak, man. We're weak. We're weak side. We had Ortega in there. We we just looked there for the taking. Akanji shouldn't be bullying uh, your players. Uh, Guardiola apparently was a flop of the season. Saka never went near him once. Akanji played majority of last season. He played much more than Walker did in the treble. Yeah, but, yeah, I know, but you've got, you're just missing the point. You're blowing teams away apparently. Sixes, fives. You're playing this great attractive football. We're scraping over the line. You should be coming for us. We came last season to your ground when you was nine points clear. And we put it on you. You, I was expecting that from Arsenal. The way you were talking, then you get a point and it's like some great vic Oh, yeah, we got a point at the Etihad. Chelsea got a point at the Etihad. Chelsea got a fucking... Chelsea should have beat us at the Etihad because they had a pair of bollocks and they attacked us. No, but Arsenal there's a difference, ball, I wouldn't say there's a pair of bollocks. When you look at Man United or you look at Chelsea and say that they had balls, I don't look at it like that. They have nothing to lose. Whereas the, the game was high stakes for both clubs yesterday. So it's a different way, like... If you've got nothing to lose, you can throw it all because it's a, it, you look at it before the kickoff and you think it's a write-off. So let's let's give it a go. With us, it was more. This is a high-stake game. It was probably more damaging for us if we lost it than for you if you lost it because of your experience, your your history in these title races. Well, we're not Four that points, team. Nothing. This is we're not that team. People keep saying it. We ain't that team. Look at the look at the way we play. Are we that team? No. So it's not. That's not going to happen unless he changes something radical. You are that team. You're Arsenal. You're knocking people with this, with that, with this. We're going to do this. Believe. But you don't really believe. You can spin the narrative all the time. Why do you say we don't believe? I mean, you must have seen you that. You mentioned, you, you mentioned two years ago when you when you you know left the left the big six, how different Matisse was or Chelsea fans wore gremlins dancing off the lamppost and all that. When was the last time you saw Arsenal fans even confident enough to show some chest before a City game? So as much as you say believe, belief and then it worked out as a draw four points out of six against city there's nothing yeah, to be disappointed know, about this is what you're see you see what you're focusing on you you you're, you're in a title race but you're saying four points against city like that's an achievement that ain't an achievement we've took chelsea we, we got two points at chelsea you, you know things like that it's not an achievement getting four points off city the achievement is going to the etihad and winning you're the form team the mentality is the there win if so we get over the line, if we get over the line, we will look back and say part of that is because Liverpool City four out of six points. Right now, you're right. Right now, it's right. Nice. But if you don't get over the line, you're going to say we did go to the Etihad and do enough. 
that's my point. No, no, no. If we don't get no. over the line, it's Fulham, it's West Ham, it's I, fucking after, after Newcastle, it's Aston Villa. No, listen, Ma- you got to, you got to show you, you uh, why. If you were, the, if you want to be the best team in this Premier League, why are you coming to the Etihad and setting up like that? Well, tell me another game this season you've set up like that. But you know, no, but, you Steve, know, Steve, Steve you're gaslighting. Like, you're Steve. Well, you have yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, man. Steve, I, I, Steve, I, I like. I like what I saw because for me, as an Arsenal fan who historically, even through our glory days, we could never do this. And that was a problem for us in some games because as great as we was in our glory days, there was times when we needed to really, you know, be resolute, especially Champions League, which that run, you know, throughout, the, we got to the final through defensive stability. But since then, we haven't had none of that. So I look at a Mourinho at Chelsea or I look at a Simeone at Atletico and the plaudits they've received over 15, 20 years, and rightly so. But Arteta has shown that side of him. He's shown that in a big game, if we need to do that, we can do it. I don't think it, I don't think the plan was to be as regressive or, or as defensive as we was. I just think the game started and Man City was something else. You were dominant. And we struggled to, to get possession. And when we got possession, we struggled to retain it, hold it because of how good City were. I think City defensively were as you know as good as us for the majority of the game because you was winning the ball back straight. We were struggling to get into it. I said it before. I said, I thought we'd have 20, 30 minutes in this game. When the game st- started, I thought it would be good to have 15 minutes in this game. By the end of it, oh, Arsenal I really thought we was tried. poor. I thought we was poor. So I, 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 I came out of ground thinking we was poor. But my, I don't know. My mentality might be different. But I thought that was disgusting from us. I thought we had a load of possession, did nothing. I the final third, was oh, in, in the middle third and the defensive phases, you were good. In the final third, you were poor because this, is, what, this has been like this whole season, Tove. This is like this whole season. One team come into that game scoring five and six goals, telling everybody they were blowing everyone away. Then they come and set up like that. But this, away, this, 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 this game yeah, for but, the but, neutral, I, this game for the neutral was was honestly yeah disgusting. yeah. yeah. Right? Tell it was them. A, it was just yeah, let the neutral speak and and, and people. I was already saying it from before full time. No one would dare to call this a tactical chess piece. It was just a shocking game, devoid of quality in the final third from both teams. Right mm. now, if, if, I if, if I Arsenal, get, yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not having it. I'm sorry. Like, if, 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 if Sheffield United play like that, <laughs> against, if Sheffield United play Burnley like that, people are saying, why is it televised? If 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 Gary Megson goes up like that against Owen Coyle, people are saying you're loving this Gary Megson thing. Like no, no, seriously, <laughs> this is what it is. Now, for me. If Arsenal go and get a goal on the counter, we're calling it a masterclass in terms of defensive, compact, you know, go to the Etihad. Listen, Steve, for me, you're downplaying your team too much because Manchester City are the treble winners. You're at home. You know you need to win the game. No, hold on. You you know you need to win the game. And Manchester City have got Phil Foden out there, have got Kevin De Bruyne out there, have got Bernardo Silva out there, have got Erling Haaland out there, the greatest striker on the planet. And at the end of the day, you guys just didn't, you guys did not, you did not show enough quality in the final third to break them down, which you should have enough of that quality. Now, maybe it's we, the sign. Well, listen, we, we're used to playing. We used to play an Arsenal that are an, an expansive team that want to come and play football, play, not they come they and sit in two banks of five. When they played expansive, oh, you've got, the, last you got season, the greatest manager of of this time, Steve. You, you, yeah, well, but we haven't got the greatest team. players of all time. We've not got a team they, that's, that's not ticking. You're the one, the team that's cooking. Hold on, you should be cooking us. Why didn't you cook us? One by one, one by one, one by one. Hold on, when they played expansive, one by one. Steve, when you went to Anfield, hold on, Tom, Tom, Tom. Let me finish my point, please. When they played expansive last season, when they played expansive last season, you cooked them on the break. You played it into into Harlan. He laid it off for De Bruyne, and they and you slapped them on the break and I've seen you do that a couple of times this season you did that at Luton you've done it at other teams Arsenal know that you've got a lot of pace and power in your in, in behind with Erling Haaland so they're not going to play a high line and they restricted you to basically no chances at the Emirates so it's not it's not a massive surprise to me that they go away from home this is the the toughest team in the world your Champions League favourites alongside maybe Real Madrid or whoever else it is there's no way Arsenal are going to go there and play the same way because you are behind mm. them in the table you are behind them in the table. Now, I thought it was a disgraceful game to watch. Don't get me wrong. And it was a snooze fest. And I wish Arsenal opened up and made it a good game. But it, it genuinely doesn't make sense for them to do that. Because if they lose that game because they went for it, now two teams are ahead of them in the title race. And that's crazy. So it was on you to win. You have to. And on last Liverpool, season. Liverpool, Liverpool, come, Liverpool come to the Etihad Stadium and put two banks of five and defend like in their own half for 75% possession, sir. 
Did they no, do that? When, you, when you go to Anfield all these years, don't you set up differently? How many times have you said Pep has set up saying. differently at Anfield and you and you, you had to change the way you play because you need to get you a result? Said it. You've said this you many got times. You got no, but we were you always got trying to win. We're always trying to win. That's the difference, trying to win in this title race. There's nine games to go. We're trying to win. I said All I said was, one team tried, was trying to win. The other team was happy to sit back a draw. Don't spin it. Like, that was a great performance from Arsenal when before the game, you, people were telling me what they were going to do to us. That's what I'm saying. I admitted That's Man City was not good enough. We didn't get, we didn't have the tools to get through them. Arsenal defended well. What I'm not accepting is this one minute they're going to come and do this and this is a different Arsenal team and can't, we can't wait to this. And then you get a draw, play like that, and then you try and turn it as if Arteta did this masterclass. I'm sorry, I'm not having it. I think, but I think, I think... Thing, i tell you something, the fucking chat is rattled to death. So you know Big Steve's just done his job big time. I think, I think, oh, sorry, go on, Turkish. You know the games last season, because Matisse mentioned it, one of my biggest mm. gripes was Arteta didn't do something different in those games. And even in the second game, Pep did. Against us, Pep decided to, you know, draw Haaland in, the brain runs off him. And in the, in the Etihad fixture last season, you ran riot. So my gripe last season with Arteta was, how can you go into this game without something different? Because it's Manchester City. So now we've done that. Listen, I don't celebrate a draw. I'm 100% not for celebrating a draw. Think but the tears, the tears a, draw, of the a draw is definitely a good result at the Etihad for Arsenal. It's a platform for us this season now, like we created with Liverpool a couple of years ago, to now start believing more in these games. Because, Steve, you're <coughs> someone that said the fans have got to believe. The fans get you over the line. So now that we've actually competed with Man City three games in one season, we've conceded <coughs> one goal, the fans are... Full, like, that's the last hurdle in our head. Home and away, we've competed with City because we've done it with Liverpool the last couple of years now. now that was the last hurdle before the, the major. Whether the major comes this year or next year, you know, we'll, we can debate that and we'll find out soon. I, I can't lie. I I I liked it. I like. I was one to say I wouldn't take a draw before the game because I think we can win it. But if it ends in a draw, I'd be happy. And in the end, I'm I've happy. Seen you all celebrating. I seen James celebrating the night. Has he blown the whistle? Yes, yes. I'm like, yeah, oh, the... you, let down. you know what I mean? That's but right. listen, it is what it is. <laughs> no, I just believe Thank that both teams, both teams will look back at that game. <laughs> Quite. Yeah. I think they'll they'll look back at it as a missed opportunity. But listen, I'm telling you now, it was uh, it was shit. You know what though? Yeah. I think, I think it comes down to expect. Can I? It comes oh. down to expectation though. I we said it, it was a must not lose. I said it on the preview. It's a must not lose. It's not a miss must win. win for Arsenal. You know what I mean? I don't think any Arsenal fan. We we as neutral, me and Matisse, I'm pissed off because I'm like, bro, I want to see an entertaining game. But for Arsenal fans, they're like, why do we care? You know, we just gone to Man City at the Etihad and avoided defeat. Also, damage limitation. Had they lost that game, I think maybe that would have been Arsenal crumble. I think Arsenal mentality would have went down. It's like, oh, we lost now. How are we going to pick ourselves up again? Think then what that would have the won the game, though. Think what they would have done the mentality if they'd have yeah, won the game. But I know, but that's still. But then you got to take that risk with Man City. Come on, man. But this is this is, City, this is it. This is it. One of the best teams in the world, but guys. But guys, look, like, you know, do you know what it is? This game is 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 sort of. This result is very similar to how events have happened when all three of us have played each other, where we've had a chance to go that bit clear. So, for example, when we played Liverpool Arsenal at Anfield, and I said, if Arsenal come to Anfield and beat us, advantage Arsenal. But if we beat them, and then the Liverpool Man City, no team's capitalising. For me, yeah. not as a neutral, as the third member of this title race, it was the perfect result. Right, yep. I get it. I absolutely yeah, was the you, yeah. I said it. If Man City win, I think they win the, the remaining games, including nope. possibly at Tottenham away. Right, nope. I thought they're going to win the league. But I also said if Arsenal go to Etihad, and I said to Turkish, if you guys rock up to Etihad with the form and the momentum that you've got and manage to get a win, then the boost and the psychological element of the game, honestly, is it's not it's underplayed. It's massive. I would have met, I would have probably for the first time in how many years, guys, since the Arsene Wenger days, you would have been favourites for the title. Deep that. For the first time since Wenger years, you would have been favourites for the title. Because even though he was about eight, nine points ahead this last time last season, he was never favourites. People still thinking City mm -hmm. coming back, City coming back. Mm -hmm. Momentum wise. But as onto well. the game, onto the game, very briefly, onto mm -hmm. the game. Because it's not my game to talk about. But I, I wanna I wanna say a couple of things. 
I thought Arsenal were brilliant in defence. And I've been saying it in out of possession for me, as just a watcher of football and taking my Liverpool, you know, and, and, and the cringe fest of the Arsenal fan base out, I think Arsenal are the best out of team possession. And that's what you got to be against this City side. Because this City well, side, out of team possession, uh, out of possession team, okay, defensively, okay. out of possession team. And the reason why they had to be like that is because City are the best team in possession and try to move you with their possession. They're so patient. I've never seen a team as patient as City in terms of moving you around, moving you around. And they weren't able to do that. Now, I get where Steve's coming from, but Steve, you need to criticise your manager. I've, I've, I've never, I don't think I've heard you. You might have, criticized, actually, you have criticised him in the past. But he did change his tactics, Steve. He went for extra midfielder and Kovacic. He hasn't been. He's been brave in his midfield setup by playing Rodri on his own and then KDB and a Silva or a Foden and then an Alvarez and an extra attacker. He subs he, you had no Alvarez. You, ha you, you He shifted Foden to the left wing where he hasn't been playing and you played the extra midfielder. So I get the, cri not criticism, but I get your opinion about Arsenal parking the bus. But your manager also knew the magnitude of this game and threw in Kovacic as an extra midfielder, which we know, and Matisse has told us many times, Kovacic doesn't move, progress the ball forward enough. And I thought it slowed down your attack many a time. Defensively, you guys were both sound, solid. But I thought attacking-wise, both kind of bottled it, from my opinion. I'm used to watching Liverpool Man City, Liverpool Arsenal, fucking basketball games. There was eight centre-backs on that pitch, three DMs, two false nines, and one out-and-out -out striker. What did we expect that game to be, guys? So I think both coaches, but I think more to blame on Pep's side, because Arteta still raw and he still look he didn't have the balls to go out and attack them but i still think he'll be by far the you better agree, coach you created the better chances though like i agree i agree i agree but the formenter that you've got to get have a shot from the edge of the box no, 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 in the first in the first half before jesus even even got into that. No, no, I, I already said their two chances, Ake and Harlan, came from set pieces. If we're talking open play, we 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 created the better openings for sure. We just in our attack, we we failed because in the first half, people are getting onto Jesus for taking that extra step first down. Half, yeah, and, and, but yeah, Old yeah. Guard fucked that up before that. Old Guard, if he plays a mm. simple ball in, it's two on one going into the box and the nine. Right, but, but what I'm saying is, it was times in that game, Arsenal were in their own half in two banks of five. And we had Nathan Ake, a kanji on the edge of your box, knocking the ball about, right? So we're prime for your men, like Trossard and Saka, to get us on the counter-attack. Not once were we in our half, in two banks of five, yeah, shitting ourselves from you. This is what I'm saying. You, you had the chance. If you'd have got possession off us, you could have broke on us. You didn't. That's down to you, you, serious level. That's 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 level. Level. you see, Don't, don't, you, don't I, you agree, I, that's, all. that's down to you lot, though. And they didn't start. I don't, really I don't think. I don't think it had an impact. I think your substitutions overall didn't really impact the game. I think that's down to you lot not breaking them. It can be made yeah. either way. Like how Arsenal did their job, but I don't think Man City Doku, bro. What did he do? What did Grealish do? You know, Guardiola. You see Grealish know. having a go at Guardiola. Doku gave him the ball. ball. That was one of your chances. Doku gave him the ball. Phil Foden kicked one out for a corner and give you a yeah. chance. The only way you were going to score was when we were giving you the ball. Or mistake. We had seventy five percent possession. No, but you was in your own half. I'm not giving, us, the, giving us the ball, though. We pressed. We pressed well at times. In yeah, that there game. was a, there was a couple of times. Right. Well, if you pressed well and we're in your half, tell me one time you pressed, stole the ball, and broke on us. The only time you broke was when no. Doku passed the ball to fucking Trossard. No, Odegaard in the first it's half. It's like a winning, it's like a winning what, ball. A couple yeah, I was going to say Yeah, did you put? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know Saka didn't do fuck all, by the way. Let's just have that. Get no, no, I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree. Right? Crap, but I'm so, you, the ball so, you, you, you want to criticise us who are trying to get through two banks of five and having one shot, but the team that were apparently going to set up on a transition didn't transition once and didn't get us on the break once. So who was taking the risks in that game? Us, who had every man in your half, or you sat behind two banks of, 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 of five? Who was the team trying to win the game and who was the team trying not to get beat? You were trying not to get beat. 
We were trying to win the game. We didn't have the quality to win the game because your defence was set up, but you never had the quality or the balls nah. to put it on us when we were all in nah, your nah, I've got a rebuttal. I've got a rebuttal. Sorry. Because Phil Foden, Phil Foden was, was non and void in that game. Mm, he did Phil niche. Foden. I blame yeah, the coach really. for that, Toby. I blame so the coach for that. One sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Phil Foden did niche, but when we talk on the coach, Grizz, you made a great point here. And I said this in the summer before the season started, and I've said this periodically over the season. What Pep Guardiola has done to this team from an offensive standpoint, he's taken them backwards. He stripped Man City of pace, 1v1 directness, and, and just ingenuity in the final third which is now why when you see man city going for games like that and they want to stretch the game the only outlets they've got are doku doku is the only player in that man city team who is actually going to take the ball and run at his man and dribble 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 whether he does it successfully no is a different matter is, is, is a different matter altogether but jack grealish is there he comes on he's not gonna he's not gonna go at his man we have to go back to the summer Right, listen, you can you can criticize Arsenal for setting up however they want to set up, but in the end of the day, Man City are the home team. And whether we like yeah. it or not, Man City just didn't have enough on the day just admit to that. throw. Admit that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is you have to put you have to look at your manager as well. In the summer, you lost Mares, you lost Gundogan. And I have to go back to it again. Matthias Nunes and Kovacic. Oh, there, right. And listen, this is this is one of the worst city teams in the last six years. We're one point behind oh Arsenal, <laughs> right? We're in the semi-final. We're in the semi-final, yeah, of the FA Cup and we're in the quarter-final oh. of the Champions League. We have been nowhere near good enough all season. Any Man City fan that goes week in, week out will tell you that, right? But we're one point off it. We did, we wasn't good enough to break Arsenal down, right? But what I'm not having is, like, Arsenal came there and went for it. They didn't. We couldn't break them down. Fair play. If you want to say that, they say that. But I'm right. They didn't come to win. Arsenal didn't come to win. They came to put two banks of five, stop the space, don't get let, let De Bruyne get anywhere in between the lines, don't let Foden, don't let Bernardo, and, and make sure Rodri is always pressed. And they did it well, right? They did it well. But I'm not having this like the Arteta masterclass because apparently they were coming to beat us, but they didn't want to beat us. They wanted a draw. So if that's what they're doing, admit that and say, we came for a draw and it works. We got a draw. Don't try and spin it like it, it, there's some great side because they haven't set up like that against anyone else this season. No, they anyone. De they definitely, you're they, def the they definitely, the they, they, they definitely didn't play like they wanted to go for the game. They were the, offensively, Arsenal were poor. No one's saying that Arsenal were, but what, what I think what we're saying is Man City are the home side. So what if Arsenal didn't set up to go yeah. for the win? You're the home side. You're That's the one. And also, and also, do you know what it is, guys? Yeah, but do you know what it is, Steve? Do you know what it is, Steve? Like we were in a position when you're chasing someone, when you're behind, because it's a very it's a very rare occasion where Man mm. City are behind Arsenal at this stage and need to win. And usually when it's like that, Man City, like we all predict, apart from a couple of people, I think Turkish, obviously, mm. most people predicted Man City to win because we know when you need to win at Etihad in a title race and it's a one-on-one, -on -one, yeah, yeah, like Pep out. said, yeah, Pep said, strong. Pep said, this is a cup final for us. 60,000 of my fans will will us on and we will do the job. He has to, in my opinion, Steve, take some of the responsibility. You can't criticise Arteta's game plan because whether they took the eye off Liverpool, we'll discuss that later. Like, if they think that just by finishing above City, like Turkish said, and many Arsenal fans, as long as we finish above City, we'll win the league. No problem. We will see. That's fine. That's a different conversation. But you can't blame them for going to Etihad and playing and performing the way they did. I actually thought, it, I, I, you know, you said... If you want to call it a, this Manchester City side, I can't. Because you know for the last 10 games, this Man City side is not the same team. So if you're watching them games, you go there and think, you know what, they're not the same. We can go there and get something. Chelsea but your, but your coach should have been braver, Steve. Your Let's coach should have been braver. Mm. Your coach our had coach, to be. Listen, our coach set up a team to go against and, and try to get through a 10-man block. Not right? with Kovacic. Yeah. We couldn't do that. Agree. I have admitted not that. Not with We are not good enough to get through that block, Once, right? once he was missing. Turkish, uh, Steve. Oh, no, you no, once, you could have played Turkish. One last point. One last point. You could have played Turkish. one last point. Matis, one last point. Once you realise Stones wasn't playing, who's integral to your attack as much as your defence, mm. weirdly, but you know that what I mean by that. Stones is integral to your attack. And even Carl Walker, once those two weren't playing, 
I think he bowled the selection by picking Kovacic. He had to pick an extra attacker with Stones and Kyle Walker out. Your attack you attack and mid. Who's gonna pick? Four I don't know. That's your team. Grealish, Alvarez, one of them had to play. He can't say he's gonna pick Alvarez because Alvarez hasn't played for the last six or seven games. That's not that's not the world's problem. That's your problem. That's not the world's problem. He needs to pick an extra attacker. He needs to hold on a minute. If you've lost Kyle Walker, yeah who's your pace at the back on the counter-attack, and you've lost John Stones, why are you going to pick an extra attacker? Why are you not going to play an extra midfielder? Because you're going to get caught in a counter-attack. So we picked the right decision. Because like, he thought Arsenal was going to come and attack us. He thought so wrong. That, so we didn't get caught. <laughs> if he'd have played Alvarez, there's no point in playing Alvarez there. In hindsight, nobody nobody in hindsight thought Arsenal was going to come to the Etihad with two banks of five. Not one person in this chat or anyone thought that. It's happened... Yeah, but- came and now everyone's trying to say it's this great result if you think that's a great result Arsenal fans fantastic but mm-hmm. I'd have been coming out of there thinking you know what we fucking bottled it here do, and let do it you have to take into account where we've come from as well though Steve you have to take in because you've you've also been at a stage in your Man City supporting life where you've had to come from mm-hmm. somewhere where you was nowhere so near you where no you finally soft story, man. You're buying midfielders for 100 million, mate. No one gives a fuck about where you've come from. You're in the yeah. title race, man. But, but Steve, if we're going to talk about money, which you want to bring up now, mm. do you want to talk about mm. money? Do Listen, you let's talk, talk about hold money? on. Let's talk about trophies divided into money. No, no, we'll but talk. you just brought money up. You just brought money. Yeah? We, no, you're we, going we, on we, like you're old and athletic. I know you played like one, old and athletic. But we've, you're not made one, athletic. <laughs> we've made one 100 million signing. You cannot, as a Man City fan, turn around and say, you, you're the small made 100 million signing. This is what you're trying to tell me. You're a small team. You're small arse. I've got to no, feel sorry for you. They're the biggest team in London. They're the biggest team in London. It's about the realisation. It's about the realisation. You got a it's point at the end. Realization of where we've come from. Where we've come from. Where have you come from? You was invincibles twenty years ago. And twenty years ago, you was facing Yovu in League Two. Exactly. Look where we've come from. We just won the treble, mate. You got Things a point change. at the end. Things you change. Got a point at the end. Things change. Twenty years That's ago, bad. you looked very really different to what we was. I must Things say, change. Yeah, you got a point at the end. Steve, I'm actually going to help you out here. When we got a draw against Man City, right, and we actually went for it both times, oh, Matisse, it's a glorious draw. But when you get it, I'm just, I'm just all I'm saying. It's a bit, a bit hypocritical from the chat. We right? were... I defend it's again, though. Well, again, though, Matisse, now, Matisse. Bro, there's a, the line, there's a lot on the line, man. There's a lot on the line. There's a lot on the line, man. It's a little high bit hypocritical. Come on, man. You know, you got to be... You know, Very you know this. You Very know this. Nothing's won and lost, man. Nothing's won and lost. But for Arsenal, they had to protect themselves by not getting a defeat over there. And they've done their job. I know I get it, Steve. If they'd have gone for it, it would have been huge for them. You won. Maybe you're saying that because you've won three in a row and you want to see a team go for it and, and test you's lot. But for them, nothing's lost. And now they no, go I, to Luton. Before now the game, Arsenal fans were telling me what they were coming to do. I know, but that's... Right? Come on, man. No, no Arsenal fan thought they was coming and setting up like that. Not one did. Not one of them, right? So all I'm saying is, instead of saying, do you know what? We came there. I thought we were going to have a goal. We didn't. We sat back. We got a point. We're happy with it. I'll take that. But they're not. They're changing yeah. it into this narrative of now, this was a magical point. And yeah, okay, at the end of the season, yeah, when you turn around and go... We didn't win fuck all, but at least we got four points off Man City. That means nothing. Nobody remembers that shit. What I'm saying is, come there. You're Arsenal. You've got the midfielder you want. You're de- he's the best in the world. You've got the star boy. He's world class. You've got all this shit, but you're celebrating a point. Oh, okay, okay. Hold on, Hold on, on. <laughs> you just said we've got a hundred million midfielder. You've got star boy. What about Foden? What about De Bruyne? What about Haaland? What about Rodri? What about apparently your team's better than ours, isn't it? Better than ours, we know, innit? But what about all these? What about your star boy? Where was he? Stop that was the yeah, we just won. We just won. Listen, we just won five world. trophies. We know how good we are. But this okay, season, sorry. we're not. Okay, so, Steve, so Steve, so Steve, is it? We're is it? This season, this season we're not that team. We're not that team. But you just said we just won five trophies. We know who we are. So. Are you the club that's just won five trophies? Are you the club that salty, 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 salty popcorn. That, salty this one. season, we're not that team. It's sweet you're one. Team. You're still going for a treble. You're still Say, in salty or sweet? <laughs> yeah, but this is showing I'm you how bad. The rest sweet, of them are. We ain't that team. We ain't that team. We're not that team. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I'm admitted that we tried to break through. We couldn't break through. So let's not believe that this is some sort of Arsenal masterclass. It ain't. You got a point, and you let Liverpool. You let Liverpool pull away. 
And so that's where it's coming from. I feel like that's where it's coming from. But let me ask you this, Stevie. Yeah. If they got beat convincingly 3-0, yeah, what would you have said? Valiant effort. What would you have said? No, no, Be honest. no they, but they could. What I'm trying to say is you don't realise what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to tell say you. Again, say again. Fan, that they as a Man run. City fan that's been there all season, we was there for the fucking taking. We were and there no, for the taking. Mean, he's got a, and they didn't got De Bruyne do it. That could be a good on every given day. He's got hard work to score. Come they, on, man. They are beatable. But on, but on your day, you're still good, though. That's what makes Man City so good. On your mm. day, you can still be great. And that's where Arteta was like, hold on. You know, wait a minute. Right. We can't be gunhole. Hold on a minute. So did he shit himself? He's, no. Nah, he's not shit himself. He's assessed he it. He's realized. And also, you got to remember, uh, City came out of the blocks rapid. So maybe he did alter the game plan because City were all over Arsenal first 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, were, so maybe were. he assessed yeah. it and said, yeah. you know what? Nah, this is a different sort of game. Man City come out animals. Let's just relax now. Let's go back into our shape. And since then, you didn't really go after them. But the first 15 minutes, you were all over them. So maybe he did alter the man. game plan. So Listen, maybe you turn up and play like plan. Burnley, you can get a point. Nah, man. That's, I think I think I think that's being a little yeah. bit disingenuous. Of course yeah. it is, because the only chances City created was set pieces. That's we Burnley. Can't get we can't that's get Burnley. through back to five. Too. Can, can, no, can no, someone no, remind me? No, can no, someone no, check? Chances, though. What minute did Doku come on and, and Grealish? I can't remember. What minute, guys? Doku and Grealish. Um, I'll check. Let me find out now. Probably 60 I just All I wanted to see from City was Foden in the, 60th in the middle. Minute. I just want to see Foden in the middle. Foden was so ineffective, man. Matisse, Foden, and, and, and Steve knows better than us. He knows. Yeah, yeah, he, Foden has been absolute balling it out. Yeah. But not in that position, Steve. No. So why did he change it? That's yeah. what I want to ask you. If Foden but has been... Really but that's where you got, I think that's where you've got to focus your energy on your team and on your manager. I think you're yeah, wasting your time yeah. focusing yeah. on Arsenal. Because yeah, Arsenal... He's starting Goku against Arsenal. It's not starting him. Because he's no end product there. We oh, know that. Yeah, he shouldn't have, 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 have bought him then. He shouldn't have bought him. Injured. Jack Greenish yeah. has been injured, not played for how many games. So mm. he ain't going to start him and risk it because he, he pulled up last time. Right. right? So he's thinking Kevin De Bruyne was not on international duty. He had to stay back. So he's just he's just managed his team how he thought he could manage his team. And at I the end of the day, I, it, we, we I, wasn't, I have admitted, right? I've admitted we wasn't good enough to get through that block. We, we weren't good enough to do it. And that's what I'm saying. And people in the chat are losing their mind. They're going all crazy and that upset. But I know that's an Arsenal thing. I know that you don't like to hear that. I know you all want to talk in your own little Arsenal bubble about how good you are and how great Arteta was and all that. But when you heard an opinion that's different to you, it's hard to take. But all I'm saying is, you had a pair of bollocks before the game, but your bollocks went right back into your stomach during the game. And you walked out going, oh, we did a great draw at the Etihad. That is all I'm saying. That is all I'm saying. Turkish, you, you said to me, you were going to win 3-1. And if you had that mentality before the game, you can't be happy with coming out of the game seeing Arsenal do that. That's all I'm saying. You're saying it's yeah. fake. But you, you, also it fake. you also... Uh, listen, you predicted 3-1, but the first thing I said, yeah, even, even in that video you're talking about where James, you know, you pumped both fists, one of the first things I said after that was, I'm slightly disappointed we didn't, you know, go for it because I thought you was there for the taking. But that's not going to cast a shadow over what was a good point because if i asked you steve who was the result better for surely you can admit it was a better result for us was it he was in front of us yeah i know no, but no, 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 it's, it's definitely it's definitely better, better it's the home better. game against one of your you know title rivals you, you'd want to win that one you know you'd, you that it's the expectation is man city you know win that game regardless well, of the I don't know. If, if that's what you think i came out of anfield the other week and i wasn't saying oh fucking hell you know, you know, that was a fantastic masterclass at Anfield. I was thinking we needed to win it. Like we needed to win on Sunday. We need to win. That's just my different mentality. All I'm saying is people can cry all they want in the chat. I don't give a fuck. Look at the state of them all whinging and that. By the end of the day, if that's your mentality to go to the Etihad and get a draw, then you ain't going to win the league because you've got bigger games and tougher games coming up. So what are you going to do? Part of the bus no, game is top of the white out lane. You've, but you've gone to Anfield in title winning seasons and not exactly thrown the kitchen. We've been beat Anfield. Yeah, but we're not on that level this season. I've told you, Mike, where we are. We ain't people saying City going to win the league and that. Playing how we've been playing for the last 10 games, we ain't winning the league. Get it Wait, out of your you, head. Are you, are you sacrificing the league? Are you saying you're not going to win the league? That's it. 
Matisse, there's a problem there. We've got a striker up front last season, got 58 or 56 goals. This time last season, he had 28 goals. He's barely getting a touch of the ball. His body language is not there. Kevin De Bruyne can't find him. Jack Grealish, he's, he's been injured. We're not that team. People are using Man City as a yardstick. Last season, yeah. This season, no. This is what I'm trying to tell you. But I get criticised for telling the truth. If I was coming on here saying we're Man City and we're doing this, you'd say, Big Steve's arrogant. He's fucking arrogant, him. He's a prick. He always wins this. He's fucking arrogant. I'm we'll coming on here telling prick, you we're not still that prick. team. And then apparently they're like, oh, yeah. Wow, I didn't think he was conceding yeah, the league title. That's, 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 I'm, try, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to tell the truth. I've yeah, watched my team you, you long enough. I can tell you this league now, man. Win this league now. I'm shocked. Go on, I'm, 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 I'm shocked to hear you say that you don't think you're going to win it. Like you're saying that you're not going to win it. Because I've nah, you never said that. This is my game. Yo, this is still my game. This is my game. The way they're playing now, they're miles off it, mate. The way they're playing now, the miles off it. The miles off it. I don't believe Steve, man. Steve is nah, gaslighting. Go, he's listen, basically bro. playing his Steve, all. Steve Later on, he's going to get the sharks out. Watch. Nah, he's going to get he the sharks out, yeah. So if he, he always 100%. Nah, 100%. Nah, nah. So if he's this is a you game. This is a game. Jaws never dies. Jaws never oh, has, has anyone oh, seen Jaw die? Yeah. <laughs> Jaws never dies. Jaws one, Look Jaws two, guy. Jaws three. How many <laughs> fucking Jaws is there? Jaws never dies. He just said there's a blue shot. You know You know what I'm happy about? It wasn't that long ago that. You know, crazy. No, yeah, no one, this no one gave a fuck about Arsenal. Now, yeah. Man City and Liverpool do. That is the conversations we're in, and we had mm -hmm. to, we had to do something There's against City this season in order to. <laughs> yeah. Say <that> again. <laughs> what? Carry on. Say carry on. Go on, go on, go on. I want to hear. I was just saying, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Don't yeah, let me get call your neighbor out again, my bro. He said, Congratulations. I come in. I want you to win the league. I want you to win the league. What did I say? What did I say in the league. preview? They're, they're, they're proud to be in the group chat, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? They have been out of the group chat for so long. They're proud to be in the group chat. They've been added in. Yeah. And, and you know, you know all you man, get your licks in now because you lot know Arsenal are gonna mm. win a major in the next 18 months. You lot know oh, this without a shadow of a oh, doubt. Yeah. Without a shadow of a doubt. Let me speak. Let me speak. Oh, let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. Oh, get your licks oh, oh, now because that's oh, oh, all you Ladies got and left. gentlemen, we got him. We that's got all it. We got you've him. Left is the last few licks. Even that dance you're doing now. I'm going to use that dance in the clip when we win the major. You're going to be dancing like that in the clip when we so win the major. 18 months, guys. Yeah, get your last licks in now. Get your last licks in because you know, Toby knows. Oh, the God. Oh, the God. Let's get back. We are what back made, in the big leagues. Yeah, a main That's all I'm saying. You lot know, we ain't, we, it ain't a joke thing. This ain't a, this ain't a 2021 Champions League win. This ain't Wait. a 2023 League Cup win where there was nothing built off the back of that. This Hold is on. an Arsenal team primed to challenge, compete, and win shit for the next five years minimum. And what you lot are going to be here watching it. I want to see that same dance when we do win something, Matisse. Hold on. What, what, to clarify for everybody, what do you mean by that? Because when you say major, <laughs> I, when you say major honor, bro, you, you know what I mean. Kind of you know what, kind of what do you mean by that? What do you mean? Last Sorry, week, shield. last week, I said there shouldn't even be commentators for Carabao Cup. Don't bring that shit to me now. Yes, yeah. oh, I'm talking about Premier League, oh, Champions League. Eight John Smith, baby. John Smith, baby. What? No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You Champions it. League. You, you look act like you, you look acting like you don't know what it is. You man know what it is. Right. You man know man. what it is. Yeah. Man, man, man said you know what time life. it is. Okay. We need, uh, we need to get an eighteen. We need to get an eighteen month counter in the corner and have it ticking yeah. down. And put a picture on him on every day. <laughs> when is eighteen months from now? Let me find out. When is eighteen months? Let me just go. You know what I mean? Come on, Grace. You got to be in math. Yeah. Eighteen months from now is mathematics. Around. I've got it in mathematology. That's Listen, the problem. You can't, you can't win a Premier League in October. Tuesday, League in October. the 30th of September 2025. You know simple. what I mean? Say it is simple. People! May, May 2025. No. <laughs> no. Yes. When, yeah, let's do that. May 2025. Yeah. That's, that's when. when. You can win a champ. And what are you so, going to do when it happens? What are you going to do? What are you going to do, 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 do if it doesn't? What are you going to do if it doesn't? It's if happening, bro. Finished, wow. It's it happening, bro. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's at least you're fair. 14 months. Matisse. 14 months. 14 months. I'm finished. Yeah. What are you 14 months. I'm toast. I'm I'm burnt to a crisp. Arsenal tops. Arsenal tops for a month. Toby and Matisse and say Arsenal. Are you Shut up. Are you dead? Hold on, me. I'm from money. 
Oh, what's the problem? Do you know what? You no, know that's, that's fair. That's fair. Just for that's that fair, suggestion, you, you are doing the nastiest forfeit. You are doing the nastiest forfeit. What's the problem? What's the problem? Talk your shit. Nah, shut up, man. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. So you got no confidence in them not winning? It's not about confidence. It's not about confidence. No, why would I want to win? I don't commit crimes. I don't commit crimes. I'm a citizen. Because he has to do a forfeit. You can throw a forfeit at Turkish if they don't. No, but on the same level. Don't do that. Yeah, Tottenham shirt. Nope, we don't as, do we've yeah. as we've acknowledged, they've got a very good chance of winning the title this season. They we have. Don't do that. Why are we? We're not going to tiptoe around that. They have a very good chance of winning the title this season. So why would I then acknowledge that and then say, yeah, I'm going to wear. No, I, I want an Arsenal shirt as a forfeit. That doesn't no, make pussy. sense. Oh, no the politics doesn't. Is it's the right. Right. Pussy. No, you, yeah. Yeah. doesn't have That's a real amity. Yeah. Yeah. You've been so, you've been so close to Everton all your life. You clean it up. Rob, I offered to wear Man City top. Do you remember with Chelsea with Steve? He's not your rival. You have no rivalry with Man City. You hold hands and sing "Come by Our Road." You don't have no rivalry. You're not a rivalry, man. You hold hands and sing "Come by Our Yo, I'm about. Yeah, this <laughs> calm down, kids. Calm down, calm down. Focus, focus. I'm glad you've spoken. If Liverpool don't. Focus, focus. No, 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 no. I want you to wear Man United shirt for a week if Liverpool don't, don't win the title. You already seen what I've said to, to about the game. I've already done my forfeit, remember? I've already said no, to Turk no. Saeed if we go and lose at Old Trafford. I will never, ever, ever wear a war hat no on war screen hat. ever again. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's not what yeah. I That's said. big. I Are you mad? Are you I'm mad? Like, you've said, you've literally just said. Is he mad? Wear My war hat is I'm more saying, precious than any of your I'm tops. Saying, Shut I'm up. I'm giving you the same scenario. If Liverpool don't win this title, now you're top of the league, two points ahead of Arsenal. Ooh, three do points it for Klopp. If you don't Let's win this title for Klopp, I you want must. you to wear my United shirt. Simple. That's, yeah. a, that's a stupid bet. It's got nothing to do with it. it Turkish Turkish is talking about something completely Why what you're you against. It's the same thing. You just it's brother. It's the same thing you suggest. Mr. Tobes, listen to me. Turkey, Turkish has said something that used to are totally against and well, anti and yeah. have been opposed to. Have a yeah, yeah, because we hate Arsenal. <laughs> not because we don't think, not because we think exactly. it's impossible. I just told you we got a very good chance of winning it. Yeah. I'm it's all about that. Duncan, just Duncan that. and head tops, bro. That's what it is. Anyway, it's not my fight. This, this ain't my fight anyway. This ain't my fight. So why are you getting yeah. involved? If it ain't why are you getting involved? <laughs> I'm, part, I'm part of the panel, man. I'm like, what? I'm, I'm, an, I'm, I'm an employee. I'm an employee. I've got to come to work. I've got to come to work. You don't want me to come to work? Do I stay at home? Steve, I want you to eat that Easter egg, recharge the batteries, Go for a shave. You know, I know you go yeah. for a nice shave and your yeah, facials. Yeah, get that thing on your face. Yeah. Yeah, get yourself yeah, yeah. spruced up because back. we're going to need you in the trenches. The next... Yeah, come this is, yeah. What this is, we're gonna need this, you is the this is Arsenal's feelings and I'm, I'm eating the feelings right now. I've got Turkish <laughs> admit that he's going to win a trophy in 18 months. <laughs> I've got We're the chat going mad. I've got record super chats. Big Steve is back, baby. You've all just been played like a fucking fiddle. <laughs> so I said to you lot, man. You think this guy's done, man? Come on, man. He never bro, can see the title early on. Man. Come on, man. 98 super chats to come in, bro. 98 super chats. Bro, like, I know, man. That's crazy. I don't know how you're going to get through them, man. Nobody does the big six super chat. Man's like, I don't know how you're going to get through them. I mean, thanks for the super chats, by the way. Buy some more Easter eggs. Well, we got Liverpool to talk about Tottenham. Two hours in. No, we don't need to talk about Liverpool, man. Man City Spurs. They beat Liverpool. No, we do not need to talk about Liverpool because yo. Why are you fucking rattled about my club? Are you stupid? He's giving you props. I wasn't even about to cross you. I was about you to are. You, you're coming with violence. Like, what for? No, nah, he's, he's going to give I you props. We need to talk about Liverpool because, Chris, man, when you start game. doing that, Chris, you intimidate no, me when you start doing that. Chris, Chris you have yeah, more hat. You didn't even let me finish. You just saw Steve and Turkey go but head to head. You and you're going to come in on this. I need to talk about Liverpool because this is Liverpool's last chance. If they don't do it this year, it's done. It's Bro, they're shit. finished, oh, man. Oh, Carlsberg shit, era, man. I oh, told you, man. Carlsberg oh, era. What was the oh, other one? Standard you, Chartered? Man. Look it's at the kids. No, it's the truth, oh, oh, man. Klopp, <laughs> it's, they, it's, they're going to have to rejig stuff. They think Bruno Amarim is going to work. Bro, man. Finish. Finish. Brothers, 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 brothers. Brothers. Calm, calm. Oh, my days. If the gloves are off, the gloves are off, innit? If the gloves are off, the gloves are off. Where did you buy that from? I went to Matiland to buy socks. I went to Matalan to buy socks, yeah? Because Matalan, I heard, got bare, wicked offer. Like, three pairs of socks for £5 or something. And quality socks, yeah? yeah. And, and I saw this top. 
Embrace the wow. chaos. What, 11 wow. pound? I bought this top from Matchland. Embrace the chaos. Embrace the chaos. Calm the fuck you know, down. You know what I don't, We're not doing the Liverpool section yet, but just no, right before the Liverpool section. No, we are, we are. Let's we are. finish this section off. Yeah. Mourinho, Mourinho, yeah. Mourinho, you get slagged off for buying his coat from Matalan. Now Chris gets his clothes from Matalan. Is that what you tell well, me? I'm happy. I'm happy to be in the same conversation like Arsenal. Happy to be in the same conversation as us. I'm happy to be in the same conversation as Mourinho, brother. Legend of the game. Fair. Arsenal, Fair happy to be in the same conversation as us. Props to Arsenal. Fair All I know is I'm doing quick maths. I'm doing quick maths. Steve has ruled City out, which means Arsenal he hasn't. He hasn't. Oh, no, no. We're just doing oh, maths. Man. And Arsenal are, are better than City, which means you said Liverpool will definitely finish ahead of Arsenal, which means oh. you have to win. Oh, oh. 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 oh the nerd. <laughs> the nerd has come. <laughs> you know, but, but Matisse, the worrying <laughs> thing, though, the worrying, the, the, the worrying thing, though, is Liverpool, I'm not even, it's actually getting scary now. Liverpool are. Yo, they're so close to this title. And with Trent to come back into this team, Alisson to come, come back on, into man. this team. Nah, bro. Listen, we, we need to actually take... No, no, no. Take man got we force, man. Take... Why are you taking nah, us serious bro. now? Why are you taking us serious now? I've been taking you seriously you for a couple of weeks now. Oh, no, no. You, you, you... You... Bro, How long? you've been talking on about you're in a title race. So know, know, about... you're in I, 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 we're not segueing yet. Well, let Turkish do with this section. We'll talk. I thought we Relax, you, then, it? Listen, I want to first and foremost, I'm going to say I'm definitely not getting in all super chats, but I do want to keep it flowing rather than interject now with super chats. So we might as well flow on to Liverpool, top of the league, 2 1, and get into it yeah. now. And then we'll round off super chats and Bro. predictions after that. Yeah. So, Tobes, as you are. Yeah, yeah. You go, uh, oh, you want Tobes to go? Okay. Oh, no, 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 sure. see, see the agenda. Talking. See the agenda. Okay, people, no problem. I can go. <laughs> nah, nah. Tobes, go. <laughs> <laughs> <On the> Liverpool... <laughs> Yeah, but no, Grizz, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, you know, like you've been you've been saying a lot of stuff this season, and I've shaken it off and I say, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, Fact. we can go on the run. You Tell can. him. But 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 now it's literally we're nearly at game week 30, bro. And they just keep winning and winning and winning and winning. And I'm looking at their fixtures, I'm looking at Arsenal's fixtures, I'm looking at Man City's fixtures, and I'm seeing Trent and Allison to come back into this team as well. Yo, they fam. Fam, they, they, they can really win this, man. man and, it's, and I didn't want Liverpool to win the league. I wanted Man City to win the league. But I'm now willing to accept an enemy as a friend wow. if it means that Arsenal don't win it. Because, yo, wow. Liverpool genuinely... Well, kick genuinely him out of the show, man. Kick him out of the show, man. Yo, Matisse, you, you got power. Are you, are you saying... Are you saying... Are you, so saying you switched. So you Six, switched oh, now. Are you giving up, are you giving up your picture? 16 so, so, million so what Japan saying, captain is going to be a title winning defensive midfielder in his first season. I think he, I genuinely, genuinely, I believe he can. I think now we're at a stage where we have to be honest. Liverpool are in the driving seat, bro. And Arsenal, listen, Arsenal and Man City, I still think they're a better side, they're better sides than Liverpool. But I think with <laughs> Liverpool now, there's momentum. Wow. There's actually, Whoa. you're saying wow, but there's actually momentum. I'm looking at their home games. I don't see them dropping a single point at home. And then you have to look at the away games. Well, even with you coming start. down, even with you coming down, you got no Bro, faith in your own team. I think you're going to beat us. Look at him open his legs I for Liverpool, man. Gonna yeah, no, why are you opening I your legs for Liverpool, man? <laughs> Come on, man. It's not open. Wait, wait. So, so, sorry. How am I? How am I opening my legs? I said at the start of the season. They're not to it. That doesn't make sense. Aye, 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 aye. You don't have to repeat that, bro. That yeah, 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 yeah. No. I don't think you man. Are, I don't think you man are deep in it, Saeed. We're, we're, we're at game week twenty nine. They're top of the league, plus forty goal difference, two points ahead of Arsenal, three points ahead of Man City. They've played all the tough, the tough, the tough away fixtures. They, I think, the only fixture left that they got to play away that's tough is you. They have everything yes. at their disposal to go. Can I? Can I game. remind? Can I remind Fulham what Fulham done to you the other day? Are Fulham not tough away? Bro, can I? It's can not, I not? It's not easy, man. Let yeah, me tell you something. Fulham exactly. away. Fulham. Listen, can I? Can I? Hold on. Can I say something? I said, Said, Said. I get it, right? I get you're trying to switch the pressure, or whatever. I'm, I'm not gonna. Pictures, I, I'm not. It's easy. I, exactly. No, no. I'm talking about Toby. I get he's trying to switch oh, yeah. the pressure. I now, the I, team, you did. You bro. said we've got easy fixtures. You can't see us. We've got you in the space of easy. In, in the space of six. 
Uh, let me. Can I speak in the Liverpool segment, if you don't mind, Pastor? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. <laughs> In, in six days, he's so passionate about Liverpool, but really, I know he's so passionate every time he comes so passionate for Liverpool no, because he hates Arsenal. I get it, that's why he's so okay. Yeah, okay. Because Steve so was just, Steve okay, Toby, just Toby, Toby I'm here to do my best, and Liverpool will do their best to stop Arsenal from winning the league. Okay, so calm down. I don't want you to, I don't want you to win it, but I'm accepting that I think I might need you to win it. If Man City don't win it, that's what I'm trying to say to you. I don't I want get... let me be clear, I don't want you to win this title. But because you think means... City, right? I get it. I get it. You wanted no, City to I'm win the title if over Man us. City don't win it. If Man City don't win it, I'm gonna need it to be. You drink some water. Drink some water, bro. Drink some water, man. Okay. Gallo, I've been Gallo, fasting all Gallo. day, and you know the extra hour makes it even harder. So look, I haven't got the same energy as you, right? So let me just say, I agree with you. We're in the driving seat. No one. Back here now, if you're a Liverpool fan and you don't think you're in the driving seat, you're an absolute wuss. We are in the driving seat. There's no doubt about it. But what I do disagree with is we've got an easy run-in. People have been saying this bullshit about we've Liverpool got easy run-in. We have in six days. In six days. So what does that mean? That means Sunday, Wednesday, Saturday. Yeah? Or the other way around. Yeah? We have West Ham away, Fulham away, Everton away. Now... People are going to start saying all kinds of shit. Oh, man, we're, we're. we know this league is a madness. We've just discussed for the best part of two hours how mad this league is and results happening. City dropping points where we didn't think. Arsenal coming on a strong run. But why are they coming on a strong run, being the best team, best defensive record, most goals, blah, 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 blah but two points behind Liverpool? Why is that? Because it's a mad league. There's unexpected results happening everywhere. So no one's going to sit here and gaslight me and say, yeah, Liverpool got easy running. You've smashed it. But what I will say is we are smashing it so far. Because you just keep repeating Alisson and Trent missing. Alisson and Trent missing. Oh, and no. Well. Oh, no. Well. We've had Salah out for three months. We've had Konate missing every other game. We've had young Gerald Kwanzaa stepping in. He was playing under Joey Barton last time this season at Bristol City or Bristol Rovers, one of them Bristol clubs. We had Connor Bradley being Bolton's best player. Connor Bradley, Gerald Kwanzaa, Quiven Kelleher. And we here, baby. And I told you lot last season. And I've been consistent. Saying we re-energize in midfield and we will be back. And you lot all laughed. Shout out Skull, because he's got all the clips of you lot laughing and mocking and saying, yeah, yeah. You know, whatever, whatever, whatever. We back. I got it wrong. Now, I got it wrong. I got it wrong. it's a madness. No one can definitively say who's going to win the league right now. Because nine games to go, three points in it, it's a whole heap of madness. But what I will say is, yes, you're right, Tobes. With the returning Jota, uh, Trent, Allison, Curtis Jones, who's been integral to us this season, and Robertson who's an OG of the Premier League as well, we are in a good position. I'm not going to deny that ever, that we're not in a good position. We wanted a draw in that game and we got a draw. Now it's serious, I agree with you. But I've been seeing this. I've been manifesting this. I know it's going to be tight. I didn't expect City to be behind Arsenal though. That's the only thing that's making me m believe more. Do you get it? Because Arsenal haven't been in that City. If City were two points behind us, there's no way, there's no way I will be saying here, yeah, whatever. But three points, and they've got tricky fixtures. We've got three for tricky fixtures. It's a whole heap of madness right now. It's never been a three-horse race at this stage. So mm -hmm. it can go, and, 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 and we've discussed before, Spurs play all three. Fulham, I believe, play, uh, Avila play all three of us. Man United play two, uh, two of us. Yeah, two of us. So there's mm -hmm. teams in and around the top six that play, still played the top three which makes it mad exciting with regards to our performance. While I was watching the game, I was thinking this is nerve wracking, whatever. When I watch it back on replay, we pummeled the shit out of them because I watched it without stress yep. and nerves. Danny Wolbeck don't score that in hundred attempts in training. He does not score that in hundred attempts. It was a brilliant strike and that was it. Kwanzaa and Bradley locked up that side. Remember I WhatsApp you, you WhatsApp me saying, yo, things getting cooked. Bradley's getting cooked. I said to you, yo, he forces, well, he's so good, good. He ends up dominating attackers and goes yeah. brilliant the other way. Yeah, yeah. He's a brilliant young gem. He's only 21. Yeah. First season, he's played, he's made about nine starts or something like that for us. And Kwanzaa has been a revelation. But I need to shout out Alexis McAllister. 
Alexis McAllister for 35 million and Endo for 15 million. All you teams have been spending 100 million pound on willy nilly players. And of course, Declan Rice is not a willy nilly player, but 100 million pound player still. We just paid, we just played, paid 50 million for the McKendo partnership. And they've been McKendo, intriguingly intrigued. You know, it's mm. been fascinating how Endo got Custer shit out of, especially shout out Chelsea fans. And now he's been integral part. His in game intelligence is, he hasn't got the physical attributes of a Rodri and a Rice. But I tell you what, his game intelligence, football intelligence gets him to most of those places before any other attacker. And McAllister, you lot saw his performance. You lot all in the WhatsApp and we were all salivating. Well, you guys were salivating for me about his performance. But he's been like that for ages. But people don't notice it until it's right now. Every game's televised. Title races on. We've come to the top. He's been holding up our midfield. He's walked into a brand new midfield. Different roles, different places. He's playing like a World Cup winner, people. That's why he's a fucking World Cup winner. Some of his passing was sublime. But I'll tell you what I didn't know about him. And I hold my hands up. I didn't know he was that strong on the ball. I didn't know he was that tenacious at winning the ball back. And I got given that. I thought he's yeah, he's a nice touch player, nice you know, nice controller. But he's he's uh, he's proved me like he's McAllister's a humbler. He's actually better than I thought. And we're there. We're there. We got look. We know Sheffield United has to take care of itself, and then we go to them fucking shit frauds on Sunday. And Ooh, we've got. Wait. A We've got to put Watch one over them. No, no, I'm, I have to, no, but I have to. We have to go mm. there and win and put them in their place like we have done in the past, 5 two, seven, nil. We need to do one of those jobs because they are shit and we keep freezing there. We play the occasion, not the game. We need to play mm. them. We don't, we, we keep playing the occasion. I can't wait to spoil the party, man. I can't yeah, wait to gonna, you're gonna spoil oh, Spurs. Oh, you know Sp look, Spurs, Villa, and United George. will spoil. Spurs, Villa, and United will spoil someone's party, and it's going to be yes. intriguing mm. who's, who's like, party they spoil. So yeah, man, I'm here, it. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Brian, that's twenty six. That's twenty six points we've got from losing positions. That's mad fucking mentality. I don't care what anyone says. You can take the piss out of the title mentality, Giants. But twenty six points with a brand new team and a young team as well. Keep coming back. I'd mentality rather not. Monsters, I'd rather not concede first. But never say die attitude has carried us. This should have been more, by the way. Should have been more than what it was, by the way. The goals should have been, should have been more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, many chances. Man. Mohamed Salah so had, didn't chances. have his shoes. Yeah, but but Mohamed Salah has been out for two months. People keep forgetting that. He's still working his way back to fitness, like Kevin De Bruyne. You know, at that. So the two match winners for both clubs are still working their way. Mm. And so I wouldn't rule either out. I wouldn't rule Kevin De Bruyne out in the last nine games. And I'm definitely not ruling out Mohamed Salah to turn up because these guys are proven, proven match, match, and league winners. And let's see how it goes, man. It's going to be mad, mad. I'm here for mm. it. Yeah, I just, w w the point I was trying to make, Riz, is that I feel like now every team, I'm looking at every team with the same same possibility to win this title. I, it wasn't the case before. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. I'm looking at every team. It's going to be a mad ending, man. Bro, yeah. you're going to see games where, wow, Liverpool are losing at Fulham. Da -da -da -da, and then it goes like, it's going to, bro, like this title race, it's going to be ups and downs. Liverpool got your open league as well. Fulham, and, and, and I think they're going to go for that one. Sorry. Fulham and Aston Villa away. I didn't realise you had Fulham away. I knew you had I'm Aston telling you, Fulham, Aston Fulham Villa, away. West Ham. West Ham. Yeah. You got Europa you League as well, which I think they might concentrate. And we got Europa League. Yeah, you got Atalanta. Listen, I, league, I think he's going to go strong in that one. He did it against... Um, he will. What was that team that he played at home? Where he went strong for some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, like, it's the only won. trophy he hasn't won in his eight years here. So he's going to want to go out with, winning every trophy yeah. possible. Mm, yeah, but it's gonna be tight. Yeah. I'm not sitting here. We're gonna run away with it. But it's the old fucking boring adage and cliche of if you offered me two points <laughs> ahead, if you offered me three points ahead of City with nine games to go, my fucker, I'm taking your arm, your leg, your headpiece, your nostrils, the hair on your neck, your back. I'm taking it all. I'm skinning you alive for that. Ooh, chill, Simple. chill, chill, <laughs> chill, man, chill. <laughs> chill, 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 chill. <laughs> <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> He's a madman. Um, I, I was just about to ask um, Tobes what he thought of Basuma's performance in comparison to Rice's this weekend, but he's gone offline. Don't worry. We'll come back to, with the Spurs. We have to do predictions for the for the well a couple games now before we keep well three games now before we keep it moving. <laughs>
people super chats i'm putting them on screen as i can i will try and fit some in but like i said i can't promise 8.2k here two hours 15 in and still four predictions Boy, but shout out to everyone though man supporting come yeah. on um it's big up skull as well he's handed out 20 memberships as well as a little give back for that and remember Yo, where's my membership man i had to pay for my own one man yeah <laughs> you should have been fastest finger first um I know, I know, I know. discord link in the description as well people just you know follow the instructions simple enough link your youtube channel you should be good uh let's roll it back to man city again and start with tobes man city aston villa i'm gonna go three one man city three one saeed why this is a tough one you know what i'm gonna go with man city to win three two three two uh, yeah um i'm gonna go Aston Villa right away from home noon i am re i'm gonna go four one city Look at the way you do it, and you're Emery. Steve, three 0 Villa. <laughs> See what I mean? I told you, that, man. Games. I told you that. Mind games. <laughs> you know, I not... actually hope this is yeah, he's, doing uh, he's doing. This he's doing. The they're gonna come. They're gonna fucking throw the kitchen sink at us, and and, and we're fucked, man. He's this doing the complete opposite nasty, tactic yeah. of what he did last year. Last year he did the blue shark is in the yeah. water. This season he's saying it's dead. It's mad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wait till me. Wait till me. Um, who's up next? Who's up next? Three, four, Matisse. Uh, two one C. Two one City. Hugh's gone two one as well to Man City. Grizz. Um, no Watkins. They ain't scoring without Watkins. Um, oh no, Watkins! No, what? DR, DRB and Bailey can't score. Well, you done your prediction? Was he out, Watkins? What's what's it, what's it, what? What's it, what have you I'm just asking you because you're bottom in the league. league. You're bottom so, of the league, so I'm asking you. Like, you that he's out, but, yeah. I'm not. I'm concentrating on the Opta side of things. Okay, Opta, Opta five. <laughs> uh, I say two nil. <laughs> two nil. See, I tried to help him. Right. <laughs> All right, everyone's gone for City wins apart from Big Steve, who's gone three 0 Aston Villa. Um, next up. <laughs> Arsenal, Luton, and Tobes. Oh boy. Um 3 0 um, Arsenal. 3 0 Said. Um 3 1 Arsenal. 3 1. Oh, yeah. People are telling me that's the villa going there with Duran Duran up front and they think they're gonna get something. Get out of here. I'm going 4 1 Arsenal. Um <laughs> Steve. You think he'll play two banks of five, or is he gonna go for the win? The mental warfare is insane. <laughs> You're gonna go for it, then I'll go right, one nil. Yeah. One nil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said this Liverpool's title is done this week. <laughs> um, Matisse. Uh, oh, I'm gonna go three one Arsenal. 3 1. Uh, Hugh's gone 4 0. Grizz. I was going to say 4 0 as well, but I'm chasing Huey. Uh, Luton, uh, my, my adopted hometown, are uh, uh, mentally, like, badly injured. All players injured, man. They've got hardly any. Um, I think it's going to be a drubbing. I think Arsenal have watched City's, uh, Steve's monologue today, and I think Arsenal are going to come out attacking like mad and show the world, like, <laughs> what they can do if they put their mind to it. <laughs> and win I'm, one nil. I'm, I'm going. Now I'm. I'm going to stick. I'm going to go with four nil. I don't care what Huey said. I'm going to stick with my what I thought originally. Four nil. Four nil in the bag. All wins predicted for Arsenal, apart from Steve. One nil. Luton. Um. Next up, Liverpool. Sheffield United. Tobes. Back to you. Oh, my favorite fixture. Anyone involved with Sheffield United? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go Liverpool. I'm gonna go Liverpool four nil. Four nil, Said. Um, I'm gonna go Liverpool. Uh, three nil. Three nil. I'm going three nil as well, Steve. 
Two nil Sheffield United. Two <laughs> nil <laughs> Sheffield United. Um, Matisse. Um, I'm gonna say four nil Liverpool. Another four nil Grizz. What did Huey say, man? Why are you cheating on me? Oh, sorry, Huey's gone three nil. I'm fucked, man, because last time Steve predicted a, a, a shit team coming to Anfield and beating us was Burnley, and he said 1-0. I remember and, that. And they won, yeah. So um, Yeah, I remember that. He's a that was a classic. That. But, that was a classic big yeah, Steve. Yeah, it was. It was an oh, absolute yeah. classic. And he, was, he wasn't even joking at the time. This time no, he, was he wasn't joking. I wasn't joking. I wasn't joking. I was serious, I, I know. Feeling, I know. I had a weird feeling about I that. I hope you're man. joking this time, man. Um, <laughs> no, it's April Fool's, man. So a lot of oh, people yeah, taking yeah, yeah. serious on here tonight. You know what I mean? They realise oh, yeah. it's April Fools, man. Yeah, oh yeah. shit, it is April Fools. Yeah, that's what I meant by the eighteen months major trophy, people. Are <laughs> you fucked? Oh no, no. <laughs> no I'm going. Yeah. Yeah. You can say that. You can You're a coward. That's what you. Are. April Fools. <laughs> I'm going. Uh, I'm going. That's for nasty. Need to stop. Can we? Can I need the public to stop letting this guy say? This you know what time did he say it? Because it's twelve thirty now. What time did he say it? It don't count. Second of April. Bro, do you count. really think I'm? Do you really think I'm taking it back? This guy's about to stress his, himself out, thinking I'm going to take it. When, I, when are you? When are you going to say something where you fucking put yourself on the line? Oh, wait, 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 wait. You he's never in any bro, he's never in any conversation to do any put his neck on the line. He said that Tottenham were gonna win a trophy a trophy and they're out of both cups early doors. I know that ain't who I think it is. What <laughs> even in my worst, you know what, do you know what? Yeah, do you know what? Even in the worst even state in my worst of my season, club, made a even, my, even in the worst state win. of my club since the early 90s, we still have more of a chance of winning shit than you. That's how shit you're not gonna win shit. Put money on it, you're not gonna win shit. You no, are not going you, to win. You're going to you win the same shit, shit from, the, from the from the first Your, game kicking Matisse. off, bro. From Matisse. August, Matisse. 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 from August, you don't Matisse. win shit. Are you going to win more than Tottenham this season? Tell me, tell me, tell me, bro. You've won Matisse. nothing. Are you so gonna you're not going to win anything. Season. You're not going to win Matisse. anything. Matisse. Are you going to win more than Tottenham this season? Yes or no? It's a yes or no question. We have a chance. You have no chance. Answer my question. Answer my question. No, you don't care what question. No, you don't care what question. You Are answer my you question. Going to win no, something this no, season? you answer my question. Is Basuma still better than Rice? You answer my question. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. All right, well then. And right, I said well that many, many weeks and months ago. Okay. You keep bringing it up. You keep bringing it up. So let me ask you this question: Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez, the guys that you harassed, who the fuck are they better than in the league? <laughs> Putting out four out of ten, five out of ten. Many you're talking about Basuma. You're talking about Basuma, and yet he's probably playing at a similar level to Caicedo, to Enzo. So what are you talking about now? Segway these guys have been. These guys have been. Game. These guys. At least Basuma gave us ten good games of of top four. Oh, wow. These guys are giving you nothing. They're giving you nothing, and you're here talking about Basuma. You might. You, you need to. Keep, you need to keep it quiet. You need to. No, keep you. It quiet you need to keep it quiet. And focus and you go back to into your quiet. box. Please, you please, need to keep please. it quiet. Caicedo is running around kicking people's shins. Enzo Fernandez is past master. He's <laughs> passing the ball into the stands, and you're talking to me about Basuma. Allow it, bro. Please, chill, chill, calma, calma. Yeah, so you calm my brother. Calma. Can I get get back in the box and focus brother. on your team? Yeah, you are within <laughs> the box full time. Full oh, time, oh, you should oh, be in that box 24 7. Get back until in your you accomplish box something. And focus on your team. Until you accomplish get something, you should be in that box. Full and focus time. on your team, brother. Not yeah. one accomplishment, not one Matisse. accomplishment on this panel. Are, are, you, are you going to the semi finals? <laughs> I'd like to not go one. With you. you are not. I'd like to go to the big six. You're not contributing to the panel. Not one accomplishment, not one title. I'd like to go with you to the semi finals. And you are talking like this. I want to see, I want to see. I want to see a much better team than Spurs go on and win trophies. So I would like to accompany you. I want to, the to see one contribution. I want to see one trophy contribution from you before 2030. Is can you can you give me that? Probably, yeah. Okay, good. Nice. Okay. That would be that would be good. So, be good so, so, so we've agreed. So I'm gonna come yes, with you to the agreed. semi-finals. Try and, you must contribute. I'm coming with you to the semi-finals or we're watching it together. Pull your weight. That's all I'm asking you is to pull your weight. That's all I'm no, asking. No, no, no. So are we watching the semi-finals <laughs> together, Matisse? Since you're gonna win it, I wanna see together. we're not watching Why are we shit not together? Watching? I wanna see because I wanna see what a winning team looks like. So I wanna watch it with you. What's Next wrong season. with that? Next season we'll watch it. Chris, round off the predictions. Bruv, these lot of fucking fizz on my brain at. What game are we talking about? Your game, oh. Liverpool Sheffield United. Oh, 4-0. Uh, <laughs> 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 
uh, idiot boys, man. These I, don't two, man. Know, I don't even know why that argument even started. <laughs> but I don't know, man. I told, I told, told me to say that. I told you, I told you time, relax. Zuma, then you come back again. And I'm like, why is this guy getting at me, Vasuma? I don't know. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh right, man, it's getting late. It's getting late. It's t- yeah, it's late. You know, Tottenham win over Brighton. You've got West Ham away next. I don't know what you want to say about it, but yeah, we just need to win. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet because of the time. We just need to win. Big game as well. Important game. We need to win. We need to win. And That's Brighton, it, anything? Anything really about that? Brighton. Oh, you mean Luton? Um, Luton. Luton. They played Luton. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, Luton. Yeah, bro. Um. To be honest, a lot of people look at the scoreline and say, oh, we, they scored in eight, six minutes. But we should have battered them, man. We we, we had yeah, the yeah. chances, the shots. We should have hammered them. We It was just a really... It wasn't a good performance in the first half. Much better performance in the second half. But even in the first half, we created enough to be winning. And I think it was just a poor shooting there. There are still some oh, players... Oh, you that better are, hammer the hammers now. Yeah, we have to. We have to. We have to. There are still some players out mm-hmm. of form. But West Ham... Is it a tricky game away? Got, it's definitely a tricky game away. Yeah, it is. Okay, we have the same energy for Liverpool it. as well. That's what I'm just saying when we go their way. So don't call yeah, that yeah, one easy. Yeah. Nah, but you're better. You're, you're better than Tottenham, so you should beat them. Mm. Right. Nah, well, if that's if that's your <laughs> that, get straight into predictions. <laughs> He has an today. <laughs> Bro, I, I swear to you, Grizz doesn't want to be this good. I'm telling you, he's uncomfortable. <laughs> uncomfortable. He's uncomfortable. You, I'm uncomfortable because I'm unco- I'm uncomfortable because motherfucker, it's 12 40 and I gotta no. wake up in three hours to Bri- close my fast. Rise made my so that's why I'm uncomfortable. I, am, no, but like, so I expected uncomfortable. I expected to me be here. How can I be uncomfortable if I expected it? You you be uncomfortable when you don't expect it and you start shivering and shit. You don't see me shivering. Get out of here. We here. <laughs> Big dogs. <laughs> Today's episode has been mad. Mad. All oh, timer. All timer, man. All timer. 100%. 100% original. Tobe, well. Tobe, listen, listen. For the for old time's sake, can we just do one more Ollie's at the wheel, me and you? Yes. Yes. Bro, which which players which players did he mention in that song? Pogba, uh, Bruno, and Fred. Fred. Yeah. Bruno's yeah. still there. Bruno's still there. Marcus Rashford as well. <laughs> oh yeah, Rashford. Yeah, Rashford and Bruno. That gets Saeed sweating and all that, man. He's uncomfortable there now with that when he hears that song, man. No, I'm calm, man. You know what I'm saying? Only football is better than this. So, oh, you know, shit. bring me back to holidays. It's a whole new show, man. That's a whole new show with that Ollie ball. That's a whole new <laughs> show. <laughs> Bro, early on the ball over 10 hard ball, mate. I'm telling you. <laughs> ah, Tobe, start us oh, off with man. the West Ham prediction. Oof. Uh, I'm going to go 2-1 to Tottenham. Mm-hmm. 2-1 Tottenham, Saeed. Um... <laughs> It's a big game, this one. Um, I'm going to go with 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. West tricky, Ham. Cool. Yes, yeah, definitely. Um, I'm going to go with a 3-1 West Ham win. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, Fair enough. You said that so calmly as well and just expects me to just... To just firm it. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, um, Matisse. <laughs> I don't even know what, what what game are we even talking about. <laughs> West Ham Tottenham. <laughs> this guy, man. man. Wake up, wake up, man. Too much energy into this, man. Um, all right, let's see. West Ham. I'm gonna go three two West Ham. Okay, two my ups going for West Ham wins. Cool. <laughs> hey, Steve, where are you going for, mate? Uh. One nil Spurs. One nil Spurs. Yes, um, Hughes gone two one to Spurs. Grizz. I was going to say that as well, so I'm going to go three one Spurs. Yes, G. If, uh, if West Ham win, man, I want to see Lawless dunking on you, man. I need to see that. <laughs> oh, he will, he will, he will. But if we win, pray for yeah. him. Pray for him. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get, um, well, listen, 94 Super Chats left. I'm not going to be able to get all of them. I'm not even going to be able to get 
you know many of them but i just want to get these big ones in because they are big donations a reminder that all super chat revenue goes back into the big six content you know building it up and like i said next year there's big plans a, a couple hints already this stream so big up hsk he says here is to big steve come on city um some love there for big steve. how much is that dollars hundred dollars yeah, yeah, right. hundred dollars. Yeah, huge. Ah, my bless, man. Thank you. Big up HSK, Sit man. Sit and Elisa says, "Big Steve, a lot of chat. I like you, but let's be real. Arsenal had the best chances. If Trossard squares that ball to Martinelli, it's one nil to the Arsenal. Two between the line passes. There's also a psychological battle. Potentially two more games to play. To be honest, we forgot to like mention. Like I said, if my uncle had balls." He'd be my auntie, innit? As James Redmond said, so it, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> didn't he? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> ah, that's it. Do you think we'll see each other in the Champions League, Steve? Good chance. Uh, listen, Real Madrid's fucking Real Madrid. I don't think we're gonna they're gonna fall for that last time. But and by Munich, the the you know the dangerous. Bro. They're not doing well in the league. They could be like, let's have it in the Champions I've League. So I think both teams are all to it. I think they've got it all to do. And listen, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But it'd be good, wouldn't it? Semi final. Is it next yeah. week? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it next? Uh, yeah. Not this week. This week's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Week. yeah, yeah. Next, next, next week. week, the Champions League. Oh, yeah. Lord. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to Madrid. Crystal Palace, Villa Wednesday. Palace Saturday. Madrid fly out Sunday. Uh, games on Tuesday. Monaco on Thursday. What a life. What a life. Yeah, man. Well, we won. What are you doing, Monaco? Just a getaway. Getting my feet out in the in the pool, chilling out. Yeah. Nice, enjoy. you know what I mean. Rattling a few more cages before a goal. The usual shit. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. Say uh, no more. Uh, people, listen. Like I said, apologies that I couldn't get in many of the super chats. Probably the, the least percentage of super chats I've ever got in. But the show has to take priority. I'm sure you understand, and I'm sure you've enjoyed. Still, seven point six k here. Before we round up, hit the like button first and foremost. A reminder that big up Opta, they're sponsoring the show. Simple game up to five. There's a link in the live chat, a link in the description. You can play week in, week out. You pick five players. If they hit the points target, you can win up to £2,500. And it helps us as well, people. But there's also an in-house competition where screenshot your team's week in, week out, end of the season. If you think you, you, you've got the highest total, send it to us. Pin it in the comment section. We'll do that every single show leading up to the end of the season. Prove that you got the highest total by sending in your screenshots and you'll win £200 cash prize from the big six so that's that's separately away from this but make sure you show them some love people it's just it's a free to play game and you can win cash simple as steve pleasure as always my man um, i'm sure it won't be the last time that you're on the on the show this season but we've got title talk week in week out as well yeah good thanks for having me on enjoyed it uh relax people difference of opinions good it's refreshing man <laughs> 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 just don't open your fucking DMs after this show, Steve. That's, don't do it. I've got a mod on it. I've got a, new mod, I've got a new mod on my thing now. I don't see half of him. He just says you don't want to know. So I'm that just <laughs> yeah, yeah, you don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <bro. laughs> you don't wow. want to know. Uh Saeed, um, Grizz, Tobes, Matisse. Yeah, man, big always. up people, love as always. Hit the like button, show some love to Opta, do all of that stuff. Make sure you're subscribed, and we'll be back on. Thursday, late kickoff, Chelsea United. So we are back 11 p.m. Thursday. Make sure you're there. Another late one. Apologies, but it is what it is. Love for the love we're at. Peace.